This is the Rick and Bubba Show. Watch more at blazetv.com slash Rick and Bubba. minutes until top of the hour thank you so much for tuning in to the rick and bubba show let's go um as uh, we come on back uh, rick and bubba are here uh will of me could spend today uh, we'll delve into uh, the strange things we receive in the mail. And speaking of strange things, did I see Coop walking through here? I did. Okay. I could have swore I it's thought Coop. So. I thought so. And now I don't know where he Where'd went. Where'd he go? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. He disappeared. I thought I saw him. And I, did he have his uh, his high socks on, Greg, that you, you always know, make fun see. of? I think he had on jeans. See. I don't, oh, I don't think really? He's got them under there. Yeah. We have a, a little uh, rain system that's coming through where the show uh, is get based wet. out of. Uh, and that is the one thing about the new, the new setup is Coop. that you can – you can come set up outside. Now, the viewing party is not uh, what it was like at it the was, other place, yeah. uh, but you're also out in the elements, so you're it's all subject to what's happening that day. If it's raining, you're out in yeah. it, uh, oh, yeah, so yeah. that's going to hurt him a little bit. But um, speaking of strange, too, and uh, mm-hmm. even though this is a delicate subject, you don't normally hear Greg give compliments to anyone. You really well, don't. Because but I this was one, gr- I've think, heard me, and yeah. Helms you know, tried to help on these apps and stuff that you get. All of yeah. a sudden, you look, and you're paying for all this and stuff, yeah. and you can't cancel it. You yeah. try to, and you got to jump through. Reoccurring it. services. A lot of them make it <clears throat> difficult. Right. They I'm not saying there's anything illegal, but uh, it's just good business. Mm-hmm. They make it. You're going to work for it if you had to cancel it. Right. Yeah. Well, recently our little dog died, and we remember Chloe, that. Chloe yeah. went on in. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we, we had that Chewy company mm-hmm. that would just send food every month. And it mm-hmm. was, they were, I mean, it was awesome. Because mm-hmm. yeah. I used to have to go to the store, and I ain't got the right flavor. We can't do this. Yeah. So it would come every month, and I remember making a statement. We should have started that service. I yeah. told her, I, I, that's oh, what we really use good. right now. And I was told her, I said, you know, I said, we're going to have to cancel that. I said, you know how everything is. I said, it'll probably be, it'll, it'll be like jumping through hoops to get it canceled. Mm-hmm. Well, they had sent, a, I think they sent an email out every time you get a shipment. At least it just answered back to the email. We no longer need this. And, you know, told them why. And anyway, and they were like, first of all, they responded and said, yes, we'll take care of it. That was shocking. Right. And said, we'll, we'll take care of you it. You mean customer all. service? I That's think a- even, <laughs> they, even the shipment that had been sent, they like canceled it. And then about a day later, knock on the door and the FTD florist is out there and they sent a half a dozen roses. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, how about that? Yeah. How about that for uh, going above and beyond? That makes sense because I saw Lisa really post something flower. that had a little note on yeah, it, Yeah, it was right? a little note yeah. and a flower. I mean, I, I was extremely surprised. I was surprised that we could, you know, they communicated back and said, mm-hmm. we'll stop your shipment. Right. It was on top of that. But they yeah. really went above and beyond. That is nice. Yeah. So, I mean, you, so you do. So, that's I do. A, so props to them because, you know, nowadays, especially me, you know how I get. Because I'd oh, already yeah. said, I said, well, I'll tell you, we never, we'll yeah. be getting. Right. You know, well, I guess Buddy can eat the dog food until, right. you know, even though he eats a different kind. But sure. Because, hey, we'll never I stop was, this. <laughs> we, were, we were just, like, extremely surprised. And it's, it's nice to see people going to. Yeah, it really mile. is. It really is. It's especially we, a, a big company that really, you know. Yeah, they, they, they never they're large, um, and, and we use them as well. But so you do the auto shipment where, uh, and I have not taken advantage of that yet. We just order when it's getting low. But you you kind of like yeah, every what every, every couple of weeks we do it, the recurring. Yeah, as well. yeah. yeah. And, and and they were always right on. Mm-hmm. You know, we always had it in them. But that was, I was very surprised. Like I say, so hard a lot of times to mm-hmm. cancel your. You know, they, yeah. and not that anybody's doing, like I said, anything illegal, but it's, you it's know, just it's not hard to cancel yeah. to make it. You know, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm you're going to be sure you're canceling. Well, you're, I, yeah. even 
even the extra step of sending flowers is amazing. Yeah. That was that, really that, that was the to me part. that's the amazing part yeah. because I do think companies are getting better at giving you access to cancel it on the spot. Yeah, but that's w- a great. And when that happened, I thought, well, that's good. Yeah. Wow, so I was wrong. But then yeah. they send a half a dozen roses and say, hey, we're so sorry. And uh, can I, I be honest? Really nice. Can I be honest with you? When I saw her post on this, I thought that. You know, Greg's nice. He, he probably did this, saying that he was oh, Chewy's. No. But then I saw the handwriting, and I was like, no, that's not Greg. <laughs> he was, like, really nice. <laughs> it would be tough for me to. Yeah, it's very, very nice, good handwriting. Yeah, but, I mean, that was, it was, it was well, a pleasant that's surprise. That's you really use. Well. Let's give props where props is due, <laughs> Yeah, that's man. right. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, if you're giving a compliment, that is yeah. that yeah. says a that's, ton. Well, it's, it's that strange. says a ton, you yeah. know. But it's 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 due though because that was very it is. Nice. It you was. you that's, use that's the phrase customer service. There. You yeah. use the phrase jumping through hoops. Do you know? Do y'all know where that came from? I do not. Do you have any idea? We'll take a guess. What's this idiom? Yeah, that's, that's a good it. idiom. Yeah, it is because I use that sometimes. What is um, it? It goes back to the circus days I where you would get line, tigers, yeah. lions, and dogs even oh, uh, yeah. that, that, to jump through hoops, and they would set the hoops on fire. Uh-huh. And so that that's where that came from. Be, it's well, hard, I'm that? sure that's hard to do. It, get exactly. An, get an animal to get jump an through hoops so, on fire. <laughs> so, so you're right. In, in canceling these things, it is like jumping through <laughs> yeah. hoops. Yeah. On fire. <laughs> on fire. Yeah. As a lion. Which is funny because in a related story, as is funny. Uh, when Chloe was, we first got her, and Chandler was probably about 13, Chandler got her where she would get excited and start running laps, and Chandler would do a hoop in her arms, and she would jump, jump through the Now, well, she didn't light it on fire. But. Right. Well, Greg, you're going to make us tear up on that. No, one. I'm just saying, we, that's jumping through hoops. Yeah. I never knew where that came from. Mm-hmm. How about so, congratulations, Chewies. Yeah, yeah, job or well Chewy. done. Job well done. Um uh, so there's a, there's some weird stories well, here. I'm this one, real weird. One. We've only got two minutes, <laughs> but can I just can I just give you the headline? Has anybody found Coop yet? Yeah, Coop. Embalmed body of dead rapper propped up at DC God, nightclub. Excuse me. I just don't yeah. think this is a great idea. What well, what's the deal with it? Have you seen it? I, I, I there's can't, a video. I can't watch the video because I don't want to see a, I mean, a dead body just propped well, up I'll at a nightclub. I'll be honest. The, you really can't tell, but... I just I don't know what kind of tribute that is. If that was me, I would go, "Hey guys, is this like weekend at for Bernie's?" It is exactly. That's what they even said in the article. They said the late Maryland rapper Gunu quite literally received weekend at Bernie's treatment this past Sunday. So that's the rapper rapper's name, Gunu. Gunu. He was shot in a parking lot mm. in Maryland on March 18th. Died later, and he, they think he was a victim. Anyway, on Sunday. Good News family and friends held a, a celebratory event in Washington, D.C.'s Blessed Nightclub, which was billed as the rapper's final show. Oh, y'all. Wow. Hmm. And the apparent embalmed corpse was propped upright in full display during the event, adorned with a crown in designer clothing. Good and goodness. I've seen the video. They're playing his music, and there he is. That's and just... they did confirm that this was his actual body, not a wax figure. Hmm. Um. Wow. So there you go. And a statement issued on Monday, Bliss Nightclub said it was never made aware uh, that Good News uh, Corpse would be on display during the event. Now, Speedy, you're right. Uh, confirming that it was actually his body was a rapper named Black Fortune. <laughs> right. He confirmed it. Well, he had to let So according know. to Black Fortune, <laughs> right, it was not a wax body. And they think this was uh, a, he was a victim of an armed robbery and mm-hmm. actually offering up about twenty five thousand dollars for any information leading to the murder. Yeah. So um, wow. So, but uh, the story is the fact that, that the last, actual said, body is billed as his last show. Yeah, was propped up in there. Strange. Mm-hmm. Leave it at that. I'm and sorry. Uh, oh, you you can't play the video <clears throat> right now because I'm having to deal with that right now. I'm looking at it, and that's mm-hmm. extremely. I yeah, don't like crowds it. out there so jumping up and down. How about that? <sighs> well, there it is. Mm. I know the the family. Goodbye to Goo News. What if we? What if when one of us passes away, we do a final show right here with them just set up right in front of us, right in front of the camera? Is it like my big boy over huh? there? <laughs> like my big boy? Come on, kind of right there. Well, it's, I mean, it's just, y'all just let big boy represent me. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Well, I want to be the coyote. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. One, which is going to parlay us into my question. Okay? I think you get three in any one second. I think you do too. Yeah. So if you want to add two to this, right. you, you, I, I want to. I'm going to give you my other two if you would like to take them. <laughs> Christians beg God to not let male rompers catch on among worship leaders. <laughs> 
Right. All right. So uh, see, that's so good. That's so good, and it shows a guy just. I'm talking about praying. Look, look at him praying, and the guy yeah. in the male romper next to yeah, him. Yeah, that's good. Christians begging God not to let male rompers become fashion wear for worship leaders. So is this male romper thing real? Yeah, hell, it is. Because somebody it brought is. it up on the show the other day, yeah. and I thought, well, that can't be real. It is. Are, are there? Is this not a joke? Is it? No, not, it's no, no, real. No. And you know, one of the main people that's brought this to the forefront is Cam Newton. Cam, I, don't do this. Have you no, seen he has wore, he has wore them out in public, uh, two and games been photographed after games. Yeah. Like on purpose? Like yeah, no, yeah, he's, yeah. He's not, he's thought not, he was shot. Like, no, I, this is what I'm going with. Nobody today. captured yeah. him. You look on his Twitter account, there's pictures yeah. of him. He didn't lose a wager and has to wear it <laughs> no. like one of his buddies. You don't get back to the Super Bowl, you got to wear rompers out. Guys, this we, we got to stop this it's dead in his tracks. I mean, you realize a romper is something you put a toddler in. I mean, that's something a little baby boy wears. I well, mean, you know, you know our, it's, our, our, some, some our girls woman. on the way to the lake. Yeah, yeah. Our, our woman. We have men, grown men, wearing yeah. these rompers. Yeah. Adler, can you find that picture, Cam, in it? Just do Cam and romper. It'll come up. Yeah, you, oh. no problem. Fine. Is, is, this, is this just one of those things, I'm such a big celebrity, I can do anything get away, and get away with it? Well, you know, is it Cam. Comes, comes, so you, there's, a certain, to, there's a certain amount of weirdness that's allowed celebrities. I don't know why we do it. Rick, it, it, it yeah. see, he, he's pushed the boundaries on some of these other, you know, clothing statements. But I, I think he's gone too far in this. And that, now, that's the different one that I've actually yeah, seen. Me so too. he's wearing multiple yeah. rompers. How do you get out of it? How do you get it? Well, now I read I read one story that said that he actually wasn't in a romper. It, it's actually pants and a shirt that just happened to match. Cause now now, that, I, I, I did read that too. If that's a pair of shorts, and he's got a shirt on, I mean, but a romper is a, a one, one piece. That, It'd be like wearing overalls yeah. with the short, the legs cut off. Well, up. it's it's a it, it's one of the. You remember when women started wearing, and I know they do still sometimes. In the eighties, they would even have with shoulder pads in them, and it was a whole one piece mm-hmm. material that women would put on. They take a big old belt and pull it across the middle of it. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a romper, isn't it? I mean, I, I mean please t- somebody stop this. Uh, this must stop. T- let me just I mean, tell you this: is, what can we do to stop it? Uh, SB Nation, which is a legitimate sports. Right. Uh, outlet mm-hmm. says Cam Newton has been on the male romper trend for weeks now. It must be, and stopped. it shows him in in several. Rompers. Do you remember when you made the point, and I understand it that you know there's certain fashions that only people in the entertainment business can wear. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, like when Bubba and I would just wear a jersey, you know, or something. We said we think we can get away with that because we're in the entertainment business, right? I mean, that's the way <laughs> I feel about it. You know, and, wearing yeah, jerseys. Yeah, I, well, you know what I mean, but wasn't that part of it, like for us to go out in, in, in a public yeah, set? You know, yeah, yeah, because we had the Rick and Bubba jerseys, yeah. and then we had other people's jerseys. There's certain know. things I think we're allowed to wear because we don't have like a serious real job. Yeah, like you know what I mean? And the but I mean, if you're like a you know functioning you know normal normal part of society, there's certain things you can't wear. Right. And so I don't most know, of the time. But I, I'm willing to call Cam out on that as well. I'm just saying. I, I don't want that. I'm like this person. I know Babylon B is is joking. I will join this prayer chain uh, to pray <laughs> that because before long we're going to see some worship leader with this on. Yeah, they'll be the first mm-hmm. ones. They're always the first ones to bring this stuff into the and, church. And one of your friends is who you need to contact right out of the gate, Mister oh. Pink Shirt himself. Oh, you think Charles Binsley doesn't have his eye on a romper right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go this far. We're calling him next hour. Okay. Okay. We're calling okay. him, I, and I'll let him know he's on the air and all that. And but but I, I'm going to tell you, and I think he's about to. Uh, go out to California. Yeah, he is. He's changed oh, his with Jeremiah. Yeah. Yeah. With David Jeremiah. Is that, did I have the person? No, you're, uh, you're right. You're if right. It That's is. where he came from. Oh, he'll, he'll be in a romper so fast in California, we won't know what to do. Yeah. Our, only, our only hope is that David Jeremiah will, will deny it. Yeah. yeah. Won't he won't allow it. All about if that. this is just a pair of shorts and shirt, I'd like us to reevaluate that as well. I, I, I'm, I'm open to that. I'm you trying, know why? I'm trying, especially on You know why? Because it looks like a romper. Thank you. Yeah, totally agree with that. Hey, I just, Auburn I, fans, I'm not beating up on Cam. I'm beating up on the romper he's wearing. No, mm-hmm. I don't care who wears a romper. I if Donald Trump walked out in one, I, I, I would picture tell you that. that. I'd like to see Bubba in a romper. How about this? Yeah, <laughs> I don't think he'd want to see if that. If Brett Favre wears a romper, I, I will call him out on it. Yeah. He won't because he's from Mississippi, picture and that Trump. would never happen. <laughs> and his name's Brett. He yeah. wouldn't do that. I don't Greg, think that would ever how happen. How much for you to wear a romper for one show? Come to, come dress as a romper. 1500 <laughs> oh, I, mean, I do it much He's less already, than that. He's already got a rate card. 
Uh, Romper fifteen. Well, you know why, Greg? Once again, you're doing a show bit, so you get the money. You're really doing something that's, that's part right. of your job. There yeah. you go. Yeah. You know, it, that would be. You think that wouldn't be daily documentary right. gold? But you got to be a romper. To a part of the deal, though, is we got to go to the mall and walk He's around. Got to be dropping to a foul. <laughs> I, 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 you know why? He, he heard hounds. Hounds so. undercut. Five hundred. Absolutely. I'm in. Do the host. I go do regions next year. The entire show and walk around the golf course with Bubba carrying his bag. Five hundred. Now that's gonna take a thousand to carry his bag. I'm with you there. Yeah, that, that's so Five hundred just do the show. But again, that you would be doing that as a bit on the show. You wouldn't make it a fashion statement. Correct. Yes, would never different. wear it in public. What if otherwise? you had to wear one like for a month and, and not let nobody know? You wouldn't that it wear it a joke. To, to, <laughs> how much? Uh, it wouldn't take as much as you think it would. And you'd have to wear it you, one, once a week. Then. You wouldn't uh, wear it to your kids' tennis tournament. Five grand. Oh yeah. You wouldn't wear it to your kids' oh, tennis tournament. Would guys, you? I think we're going to have to come down severely yeah. on this. It's our only hope. Yeah. You know, peer pressure works in a lot of ways. It works for good things and bad things. Right. I think we've got to make this such an unacceptable trend. See, Jason Crabb wouldn't be seen. No. I know that. No. Billingsley, we need to call him. We're calling him. As, if you're still with us next hour, I'm calling him. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. RB. The gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. All right, it's Bubba, six minutes past the hour. Hello and welcome to another hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. We sure are thankful that you are here today. We start a brand new hour. This hour, as has been tradition since the attack on America back on 9-11, this hour starts with the national anthem. It is eight minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. 866, we be big is the number. And uh, we're excited about moving forward uh, in another hour. Now, you've already had a kickoff hour. Uh, Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler have provided that for you along all the different Rick and Bubba platforms uh, as uh, we now join them. And we all go forward unpacking uh, another day. Will of Meat uh, is in play. Uh, we'll continue to recap the stories of the day. We got a new national champion uh, in college, uh, men's college basketball. Uh, and uh, are the women done or are they still playing? Are they done too? Mm-hmm. All right, so um, we'll take your phone calls today on anything you want to talk about. 866 We Be Big. You got that number down. Let's bring him in here and uh, get the whole team on the field. It's like you're out in the huddle and you're waving. We need one. We need one. We need one. Uh, and there he is, the silver tongue one, the man with a golden voice, professional lunch eaters, man of the year, the inventor of pizza and a cup, Shakespeare's worst nightmare, and the master out of Kang's English. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for Bill Bubba Bussy! Howdy, Bubba. 
How about it, Rick Burgess? Friends, neighbors, associates everywhere, those with cheese and crackers. Yes. Welcome to the Rick and Bubba experience. Love is strong and you're so sweet. You make me weak. Let's go. To me. Hey. Let's see. Come on. And see the box. There he is, Big Mick. What is he, 80 now? Oh, my gosh. Uh, late 70s. Still, yeah, still bring Still dancing. The, whole, the ones that are left yep. need to be studied. They do. Mm-hmm. For science. It's yeah. real. Absolutely. Maybe for COVID. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it. <laughs> hey, did you get Stone's vaccine today? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it may help. Yeah. I saw a video I mean, of him, like, months ago. Recent. Yeah. And he's still wide oh, open. Oh, yeah, sure. you, you know, like in the movie, say, E.T. or something, when, you know, we ever run into an extraterrestrial at some point, you know, how we're going to want to study them and all that. Why wait on that? Let's study the people who are amazing science right now. (laughs) The Rolling Stones. I'm telling you. Good. It's crazy. Uh, So uh, we'll unpack another one. Um, I heard Speedy say this. I know, Bubba, you you said you tried. Did anybody make it through the men's NCAA basketball championship? I I, I missed about – I, I would I watched the whole first half and then I did this thing where I would fall asleep and wake up, fall asleep and wake up about three <laughs> times and then watch the last four minutes. <laughs> so I saw the ending, saw the beginning, and there was about an eight minute game time period where I was in and out. I, I didn't even, I, I didn't even attempt it uh, at all. I didn't even go near it because. Uh... Uh, it, it just, I mean, there was no need. I, mean, I had already dozed off when Hams texted me or texted the group <laughs> and said, I'm ready for the tip off, enough pregame yeah. or whatever you said. And uh, that woke me up. And I thought, hey, wait a minute, national championship game. So I hung in to almost halftime, about five minutes before halftime. Kansas come out of the gate pretty hot. And then North Carolina seemed yeah. to balance it out and even get ahead. And, uh, North Carolina's big man was hurting. It's he obvious was. he wasn't hi- himself. And uh, I thought that uh, Kansas would handle him, but uh, North Carolina got a big lead. And then I understand had to had to overcome a 16-point deficit to come back and win. Yeah. So Jayhawks, number one. Rock talk, baby. Yeah, what I, does that even mean? I don't know. I hear him say that. Rock talk, Jayhawk. I have no idea. Yeah. Rock chalk. Well, I, it chalk? I was I was not I, in, I was not <laughs> invested in. Yeah, what I, am I, saying? Talk, I, I never, I, mean, I, don't know what it is. I never was invested, mm-hmm. and I thought, well, why? If you haven't been invested at this point, and then of course, you know, we had um, the pursuit. You know, once again, another we had another tournament going on. Can anybody throw the king of all fish off his pedestal today? In a, yeah. in, a, in, a, in a fishing tournament that was unofficial, of course, at, a lot of action at, at the farm. But uh, and by the time you get back, and you know, y'all mentioned it on the show where we live. I'm not. T- I mean, look, we're we're headed. The, the coming up this. A summer in Alabama is something you'll never forget. Mm-hmm. We'll challenge. We'll challenge anyone that says I just love the hot weather. Yeah, but so we're not talking no. about that kind of heat. It was a beautiful day, but oh, it yeah. did it did get hotter as the day went on, and there was a tremendous amount of sun. So we'd been beat down pretty good with the sun. Yeah, I mean we fished literally for hours. Long time. Plus and, that and, new variant pollen. Yeah, right. Whoa, and the pollen. Yeah. The deal boy, good, good. And and boy, something we got to tell Bubba today. Boy, he'll he'll. Mm. He's not gonna like that. No, no I know. I'm bad sure. bad story today. And uh, so anyway, have y'all made a pollen a pollen man yet? <laughs> you know where you just roll it up. How about a pollen angel? And uh, uh, I made a pollen angel. Together. Sherry told me she said she was riding down the, the road. You know, for some reason, where we live now too. There's just, I mean, the, the days you have where there's not a, just a wind blowing nonstop. It's just that's how we keep losing our dog. It keeps blowing when the doors open, and <laughs> and it just wind. There's just tremendous amount of wind, and so. Um, she said she was driving, and she said, "I'm not making this up." She said, "I look, and there was a a a wad, just a big ball of pollen, 
that that was a wind driven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She said it was just a pall. Yeah. It, looked, it looked like somebody was rolling. A pollinado. A, she said it looked like somebody was rolling a, a, like a yeah a, a pollinado a, a pollen ball down the side of the highway. She said it was unbelievable. So yeah, if, if pollen uh, bothers you, boy, then we got we got enough pollen to go around. Hey I mean, hey. Uh, I even had a bee uh, buzz up to me yesterday and say enough with the pollen. Yeah. Uh, it's, so uh, it's, so uh, it's uh, I mean it's just on you. It's everywhere. Yeah. I, I, I've had. Some success avoiding the allergies tied with that, but you know my day's probably coming. So, mm-hmm. uh, but well, it, for, for as much as we've had, it's it's been amazing. Uh, well, with I mean, the, you uh, cut your windshield wipers on when you go to get in the car, and it's just slinging you. Oh yeah, yeah, everywhere, yeah, you know? sure. yeah, And yeah. for some reason, I went to get an oil change on the scheduled oil change, and I was out of the uh, windshield water yeah, whatever yeah, it is yeah and i told them to fill it up and i think they did but something's happened they didn't set something back right because it won't come out it just dribbles out and won't go on the you wind. gotta you gotta stop that jet do yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. probably full of pollen oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right so well, you, uh, you can fix that if you're with a air compressor you can blow it out right quick. yeah it's no big you got one of those right yeah, oh sure, I got one of them laying around. Uh, what what does uh, what does rock chalk Jayhawk even mean? And it said uh, national title. That's what it means. Yeah, yeah. Now, who is Bailey? Bailey and his colleagues. Who's Bailey? I guess that's uh, a Bill student Bailey. or some somebody. They came up with uh, what Ra Ra Jayhawk go KU, and then that turned into something else, and yeah. then that's it, the information you it's, have. It's been rolling so since it really 18... No it's, it's been rolling since 1889. So it has to do with the limestone in the ground, right? Because right. it's chalky. Yes. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Rock chalk. Where the university is located on this mountain, whatever this mountain, Mount O'Reed. Yeah. So that, that, that the limestone leads to chalk, so we're rocking... We're rocking chalk, Jayhawk. Mm-hmm. Rock okay. chalk, Jayhawk. All right. Well, that's just you can good. always uh, enjoy getting educated sure, on all these sure. things. And E H S Bailey is who the Bailey is. It's a chemistry teacher uh, okay. at KU. Yeah, everybody knows that. <laughs> so, uh, well, here's my thing with rock chalk. Y'all gonna have to get better football for me to know who y'all are. <laughs> all right. So it's uh, 16 minutes past. More Rick and Bubba coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. TV for you. Uh, Also, we have um, Hannah Montana is taking your phone calls in Rick and Bubba University. She's flanked by can't have nothing. Uh, all earning their degree in common sense. And there's Bill Bubba Bussy. Yeah, hey, how about buddy. it? Hey, buddy. How about you? All right. Uh, starting this hour, we are going to revisit something that came up on the show a few weeks ago, and that is uh, grown men wearing rompers. Now, uh, and then ba- Babylon B says Christians beg God uh, to uh, not let male rompers catch on among worship leaders. And so when we read that comedy gold, uh, Bubba said, you know, Worship leaders will be where it infiltrates the church. And he said, I hate to say it, we may have to call Charles Billingsley and kind of do a preemptive strike. Yeah, well, I think he would be classification point A that this could get could get roots and grow. If male rompers are coming into the church, it's going to ride in through male worship leaders. Yeah. I mean, let's just be honest. And Charles Billingsley. Right. Yeah. And and, and he, he would be the – once he does it. Yeah, it's on It's then. on then. Yeah, you got yeah. a lot of copycats Ma- after that. Yeah, you might get one misguided uh, youth pastor who's trying to fit in with the kids. Right. But it's probably going to be the worship leader. Right. Uh, Those are perfect hair. Yeah. Uh, so let's, we're calling Charles Billingsley right now. Now, he may not answer because it's, you know, if you're listening live. Oh, look, they found Adler Snape. All right, so uh, <laughs> let's see if we can get him on the phone. If not, I'm going to leave a message. Standard, standard format. Hi, this is Charles Billingsley. I'm sorry I missed your call. Please leave your name and uh, phone number, and I'll call you right back. God bless you. All right, that, that was quick, so he, he, he sent us the Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Charles, Rick and Bubba here. We're live on the air. Charles. Hey, buddy, trying to call you. Um, we're concerned about yeah, something. If you get this message before this hour is over, text me back, and we'd like to talk to you about uh, the fashion statement, male rompers, <laughs> R-O-M-P-E-R-S. 
you know, I don't know whether you, I, I, I hope I'm not, you know, like offering up something that could be detrimental to you. Right. I, I'm, I'm guessing in your fashion statement world, you probably know about them already. People are starting to wear them, including Cam Newton. So I want you to refuse to, to be drawn in by we're, this. We're worried that this trend is going to catch on with worship leaders. And we thought of you first. Yeah, you have a responsibility, Charles, to worship leaders everywhere and the church that Jesus gave his life for. Just say no. Uh, do not start wearing male rompers. I know you'll want to. I've seen some other things you've worn. And, you know, we've gone down this road. I've tried to help you with this, holding each other accountable. Iron sharpens iron. And uh, I know you'll be drawn to a male romper. It is not the right thing to do. Sorry, Charles. Do not wear a male romper and enter into God's house. I really would not like, I really wish you would say not, you're not going to wear it ever anywhere. Because if it starts outside the church, it always comes in. So you know this. You know you already have to decide what you're going to do before you ever get in a situation, right? So if you're wearing rompers right now, remove them and call us back. Okay. Charles, Rick and Bubba, buzz us. Don't do this. I want you to picture right now that Ghostbuster circle with a line through it. Put male rompers in that circle and draw a line through it. Thank you, buddy. You know, like like James told us, sometimes it's our own flesh that's our problem. Mm -hmm. You know, the devil ain't got time to get with everybody. Sometimes it's just our own evil desires. You'll have a desire for these, Charles. So decide now, if you haven't already, like Bubba said, if you have one on, get it off. Decide now you're not going to wear one. Not when you get in a situation, because if you're just going to wait and see what happens, you're going to fail. Okay? Thank you, buddy. Two, two things from that. One, if he doesn't realize that we were calling him to have him on the show, he's going to think that was the longest butt dial voicemail ever. Right. Mm. And two, Bubba brings up a fantastic point. What if it's too late? It, it, what if he is I already never, wearing them? What if he is listening to that message, looking over his closet where he already had rompers laid out to wear? Mm -hmm. well, speaking of Bubba, I think he needs to come uh, clean. Well, Bubba, what are you talking what? about? Mm -hmm. Somebody sent us a picture of you in one. No, I don't think he did. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the Joker from Batman. That's Somebody not the Joker. That's that. Penguin. 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 Oh, Penguin. Penguin. Sorry, dang it. <laughs> Danny DeVito. <laughs>Minutes past the hour, the Rick and Bubba show, and we're back. Somebody say it. The shots ring out. So, things still to come today. Will of Meat hasn't spun yet. We, we are scheduled to get a visit before the show is done with John Thomas from Living Hope, South Africa. And uh, so, he um, I may get here before the show is done. Uh, we have a little meeting today. So, and uh, hopefully uh, some of the rain that's coming through and storms where we live um, will clear enough for him to have an opportunity to do some full wheeling. Uh, he's bringing one of his sons with him who uh, now is going to be doing the job that uh, John once did. He and his wife have kind of in um, retirement as far as the day-to-day -day operations of Living Hope South Africa. But, of course, they're always going to be the mascots. They're, they're always the face of it. So, so anyway, we'll, we'll hopefully see him today and maybe get an opportunity to talk to him on the show. And, uh, and then we do want to thank um, uh, John uh, the Coop. Uh, John Cooper uh, said he's already here for Kevin Derryberry's uh, golf tournament coming up Thursday. A lot of you will be coming to town for that. And, yeah, and, you know, Kevin made me feel a lot better is that I thought, I said, Kevin, tell me, this, this tournament seems a lot earlier than it normally is. And he confirmed that it was. Mm -hmm. He said they wouldn't let me have my date later in April like I've done. I had to grab an earlier I thought date. he moved it to Master's Week. Yeah, I was like, that's strategic. Yeah, well, he said he actually liked having it after the Masters because people were fired up about golf. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and, I bet so. Uh, yeah, I mean, he really did think, thought that was beneficial. That, that does drive a lot of golf. Um, but anyway, so, uh, so uh, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not I, I think, John, I know why what John attempted to do in the parking lot okay. a little while ago. Uh, and he brought us some um, homemade pimento cheese and crackers, so thank you, Coop. But but he, he wanted to make sure that I didn't think I was in danger because, you know, if, if we don't know you're in the parking lot and it's dark. and we're, we're, Look, it, 
dark parking lot yeah. is not a good approachable time. Right. It's and we, just not. And it's we are not. and we are all you know, legally prepared to defend ourselves if we had to. Yes, we are. And so um and, and I think John knew that. But but it, what what came out really was almost I think worse than just saying I think hey Rick it's John yeah. would have been a better way to go. Uh and and uh but 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 he he ended up screaming out hey Rick it's okay. Oh no. And uh and what's that and, 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 and I, what's that? that almost put me more on alert. Hey Rick it's okay. Uh and uh, you what, know, the- what he was trying to say is I'm no danger. Yeah. No, I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not, a, I'm not after you. But <laughs> almost screaming hey Rick it's okay almost alerted me even more. You know, because that's okay. Because that's what a crazy person would say if they yeah. were coming after yeah. you. You know it. So uh, so anyway, John, thank you for that. That was very very kind. And we'll see you on Thursday. And uh, it's uh, and, and and I look forward to getting into this pimento cheese. So um, yesterday we we talked about Elon Musk becoming uh, uh, a, a big time shareholder with yeah, the largest the largest shareholder yeah. in uh, in the company Twitter or whatever the company is. And and now he's he's saying this is all true and by golly changes are coming right or, yeah he he is now nine some percent uh, owner in Twitter over nine percent Jack Dorsey who was the founder is sitting there about three percent so oh wow okay he uh, he's the largest stockholder will have the biggest uh, block of votes uh, on what's done and Rick this is very interesting I think that he he went on Twitter and said free speech is essential to a functioning democracy. No doubt about that. Do you believe Twitter rigor, rigorously Watch I can't out. Say that Look now, out. adheres to this principle? Right. He said the consequences of this poll will be important. Vote carefully. The uh, With over 2 million votes cast in that, 70.4% said no, Twitter does not adhere to that principle. Mm. Meaning... That they pick and choose what they want us right. to see. There's here. a lot of yeah. censorship, so uh, there's a lot of people excited, saying that this may be a huge move in the right direction. That we may finally have a major social media outlet that is going to do away with this cherry picking of news and uh, actually open things up a little bit, which would be great, I think. So we we have that today, which is big news, by the way. That's big news. And then over here we have a story that Elon Musk's mother says that the Biden administration is ignoring all the advancements and the wonderful things that her son has done. Yeah, you know, there there mm-hmm. seems to be uh, some anti-SpaceX uh, feelings at the White House, even though they, they've got several large contracts mm-hmm. and just got another one to keep stocking the uh, International Space Station for another three years, I think. Billions of dollars, by the way. Uh, but they won't acknowledge him when they're talking about battery cars and when they, you know, they had the thing where they had the, the manufacturers to the White House and Biden got out and drove one of the cars and, you know, at one of the plants and all that. But he never mentions Tesla. He never men- mentions SpaceX or he never mentions Elon Musk, almost like they're, you know, trying to give him the cold shoulder because he's not in line with all the Democratic uh, yeah. wokeness. Yeah, he's yeah. not he's not following the woke agenda. Even though none of us, we probably would disagree on Elon Musk on many important issues as yeah. far as yeah. you know life. Right to leave you life. Yeah, mm. but po- politically, in the way a constitutional republic uh, and democracy is supposed to work, he's pretty well versed on it, and and seems what? to seems to like freedom a lot, he, mm-hmm. Rick. He, because that's how you end up you know, being as successful uh, as he is. Yeah, again, I can't I can't endorse everything Elon has ever no, done or no, said, no, no, but no. I will say of this. Not. Overall, when he speaks, I go, yeah, I kind of agree with well, that. Well, as far as the uh, way we should he's be. A, he's an open market guy. There you go. He's very common sense oriented. Yeah. And, you know, it's just, I mean, it makes sense to a lot of people on some of these issues. Now, it was kind of funny that he challenged Putin to a fight with a winner mm-hmm. getting Ukraine. I that, thought that, that was, that was funny. very funny. Uh, yeah, but, if he could uh, just add the edit <laughs> button on Twitter on that poll he put mm, out, that, yeah, I, that'll yeah. be a win. Right. Yeah, he, that was another question that was asked. Yeah. Uh, he, he, he seems to. Now, how would that work, Speedy? How would the edit button work? Kind of like with it, Instagram, you can edit a message me, without right. having to delete it. Right. Yeah. You know, like right. if you mess up on a tweet, oh, you got to go awful. delete the whole it's thing. awful. Unless over. just you can use the edit feature where you can delete what you're saying. I can't it, tell you how many times I wish I could do that. I'm like, I'm going to have to cancel that tweet and type the whole thing over again. On Instagram, I just 
go up there and edit it and yeah. move a word. Right. Or I'll dro- I'll, I drop, leave words out all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, misspell something yeah. or whatever. And, and if you, again, if you're if you're the president, if you're the federal government, you ought to be very thankful for Elon. He is the highest paying taxpayer in American history. I mean, he's dropped more coin this last time than anybody ever. Yeah. <laughs> now, his love life looks a lot like Jada Pinkett and Will Smith. But, well, but, 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 as we said, I don't agree with everything. No, but as and, far as uh, the – he is at least smart enough to know I'm not going to demonize the very system that allowed me to be this successful. All right. Yeah. yeah. Thank well, you. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Hot chocolate. Everyone's a winner. Of course, that's uh, the theme song, I guess, today. Uh, <laughs> not sure that's exactly what hot chocolate meant. But anyway, uh, it's good. You know, we uh, we got a few stories out there that are still kind of developing and coming through today uh, that we've got to look into. Did you see the representative, uh, the candidate for uh, a representative from Montana take the reporter? Did you see the no, story? No. Oh, and no. body slammed him. Okay. I see, that's Montana right there. Well, and you know, I'm thinking, uh, and I don't know the full story. I don't know why. There was a guy from the Guardian there, and apparently he had, they'd asked him to leave or to right. change yeah. position of a recording device, and he wouldn't do it. And I think he's the one that actually put his hands on the representative, and he just like put him in a headlock and body slam. He said, "Hey, once you put your hands on me, ain't no need in it." Uh, and so the- we'll we'll look into that. I don't know all the details. It was not caught on video, but it was caught on audio. Okay. So uh, we'll we'll look into that, and uh, could this guy be, you know, run for president? Uh, well, I, I look, mean, I, uh, he he'll move way up the ranks. Well, you know, the good news is, is you can get it's so easy to get everybody on the same page because in big sky country they got all this acreage, but they ain't but four hundred people live there. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean, I mean, they only have like one member in the House of Representatives. Yeah, yeah. but so. I mean, they got a lot of land, and, and people yeah. got a lot of room. They can stretch out. So uh, so anyway, uh, yeah. Let's, let's look, he said, I say, showing it up there. <laughs> They're doing on Fox News are covering now, so we'll try to break. He's that been out. charged with uh, you know misdemeanor or something, or whatever. So we'll we'll look into that. Also in Texas, we have uh, I think a very bizarre story. When I first read it, I thought, yeah, yeah, but then I started reading it. Uh, we've got a young lady who is seeking a restraining order at her high school to keep them from announcing the valedictorian because she should have been the valedictorian. The school messed up. Oh really? But they didn't correct the problem. They've even admitted. Why we would they not up. correct? I don't. know. If you messed up, just correct. I don't know. It. That's what I don't understand. What? See, to begin with, I think, oh yes, yeah, somebody being over the top. But hey, if she won the thing, then let her be the person. You know, yeah, what's well, the big deal? Our buddy Hannity is the uh, in the crosshairs again. You know, this is the new thing in the gotcha deal where they get out and they go after you, and you know they get all you advertisers and call and harass right. them. We've right. we've been through all that, so he's lost like seven advertisers because of the. Seth, um, yeah, it's, it's the murder case we were talking Seth, about. Um, um, I can't remember. It, it was the guy that was gunned it. down in DC that right. we've been talking about. Right. So. Uh, Seth Richards, I think that's his. Rich. Yeah, Rich. Seth, Seth Rich, that's it, yeah. Right. yeah, Seth Rich, uh-huh. and uh, and you know Hannity's been trying to get everybody to say, you know, the same things we've been saying. Yeah, and he just says, look, this all this evidence is out there, and nobody's talking about it, and and. What what's happened is that see when you when you hear Hannity's losing advertisers immediately you think uh. Did he say something about women? Did he say some slur? Did he? Di- no, he just simply was talking about a story that's been in the headlines we've talked about. Yeah, they claim he's obsessed with it and won't leave it alone. He's a conspiracy theory guy. Well, and, there's yeah. a group called Media Matters, and they exactly. act like they're a media watchdog group. Oh, yeah. What they are is a liberal media watchdog yeah. group, and they were very much behind the Roger Ailes and the Bill uh, O'Reilly thing, and, and Hannity's next in their crosshairs, and he's admitted that. Oh yeah, he's he's talked yeah. about this. I heard him talking about it yesterday, and he was saying, "Hey, thanks for everybody." He goes, "Look, I'm good. I I, why, I know the why deal." Why in the world would would you be upset with a guy? I mean, he's talking about a murder case. Okay, that, is this that chauvin? I think I'm I, due to get one of those. Did we just call that a chauvinist one time? What's yeah. it? Are we trying to get fancy with it or whatever it means now? But but they they want Hannity. They're out to get him, and they you know they've got everybody with their torch out there. And really, I don't think it meets the level of what they've been able to accomplish. 
on these other people, you know. Well, something I don't know what to do. Sherry and I were discussing this last night because we're we're reaching we're in a world right now in our society. And of course, it's in the West, you know, with all the stuff at Manchester too. But we got it here at home. Is we, we've kind of lost our way. I mean, now we think that it's possible that the executive branch is trying to be undermined by our, our intel and our, you know, the intelligence society of our country. You've got liberals who lost an election, and and you know, as as you know, we, in the past we've always been divided. I mean, we talk about the civil war and all that. But there was a time when your political party lost. You did what you wanted to do to get reelected, and. Thirty-five minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. Eight six six. We be big is our number. We thank you for being with us today. Relief factor. I've already had my first dose today. Uh, good to hear from Jennifer out of the Rocket City. Speaking of rockets, uh, Huntsville, Alabama. She wrote us a letter here, Bubba. Listen to this. She says that. Um, so I have finally given in. I'm now taking relief factor. Uh, I suffered with arthritis, sore muscles, tendons, felt much older than my 55 years. I'm a very active person, uh, but it hurt just getting out of bed. Exercise became painful. Uh, I ordered the quick start pack, felt relief within 24 to 48 hours. I've even mentioned this to my 80-year-old mother and and brought her a couple of packets, and they're helping her too. Uh, so she's also uh, just ordered her quick start pack. Well, well done. Thanks for bringing this great product to light, Rick and Bubba. Uh, there's truly a significant difference in the pain level in a very short amount of time. Well, I hope this is your story uh, if you're struggling. Um, why don't you go now and get your three-week supply? It's all natural. These are four botanicals that work with the body's natural inflammatory response. Three weeks is 1995. And the reason why we're doing three weeks is three weeks is when you'll know. If, you, if you're not seeing some relief inside three weeks, then unfortunately this is not your answer. But, boy, it's the answer for a lot of us. So so go now to relieffactor.com and see, with it being natural, the stuff that sells over the counter, great products, but they were not designed to be lifestyle. We know the problems with the addictive properties found in many prescription pain meds. So those are can be very problematic, plus they make you feel weird. Um, so uh, all natural, hopefully this works. You can take it every day. Uh, relieffactor.com. There's also a link at rickandbubba.com. You find that under the sponsors button. Bubba, I, I see here it appears that uh, there are now three Republicans that will join the Democrats in a 53-47 vote to move the nomination uh, for Judge Brown Jackson to a full floor vote. Looks yes. like she's going in. Yeah, I think that's uh, kind of a forerunner of that. Did you notice who they were? I did not. Um, Mitt Romney was one of them. Okay. And I think it was uh, I think it was two of our female senators okay. that usually uh, does not hold ranks with the Republicans. So Collins and uh, so the, I think it's one of them. So the Romney's the Romney that. is the biggest surprise. The other two really not. Well, uh, yes and no. He yeah. you know he's he doesn't usually hold the party line on stuff. Right. The Republicans have always had a problem with that. Uh, they don't. They'll. They do have some people who will veer off and do their own thing. Now the other side, they hold the line. But oh sure. They don't. Uh, they don't. They don't step new, out because they'll uh, get punished. Well, th- there were obviously some things um, as far as worldview with the judge that uh, you know, if you're conservative, which Mitt Romney claims to be. Now I said claims, um, and um, they were to me they were almost. Um, you know, there, there's things in life where you go, I understand that, especially in politics, which is why I'm, I don't really want to be part of it much anymore, is it's it's a the, that whole world is a world of compromise. Yeah. yeah. You know, for me to get something I want for my constituents, I, I have to compromise on something. And sometimes when something's principled, I mean, I don't know if everybody understands the definition of a principle. Principles don't move. No, no matter what the situation is. And it makes it tough right. in a compromising environment. Correct. Because and, and so, uh, d- democracy could be, you know, a synonym for uh, <clears throat> compromise. Oh, look, I, you know, I got guys that I, that I know that uh, I know who they are as human beings and, and all this, but I've seen them get caught in this who, who, who you know, made stepped up and, and, and said, look, I want to serve my state or I want to serve my country. 
and you know, and and there's and you're sitting there going, well, I had to kind of give a little on this in order to get that. And then everybody who who put you in goes, now why'd you give on this? You know what I mean? And then yeah. and then oh, over yeah. here the country yeah. might be going, well, hey, that was good that we got the end. And you have to keep explaining all yeah. that stuff. I just rather not be in that situation. Well, and you, I mean, I, I know we all have to make decisions like that in life, even on this show, from time to time. But when something's a principle, it really doesn't matter what your job is. You can't compromise it. Well, I think that's the you know everybody has a point where uh, they they go I can't I can't compromise on this but uh, if we go back this way there's some gray area that I can work with you on different topics yeah. and uh, mm-hmm. that's kind of how it functions but it's uh, you know the the thing uh, is she qualified uh, to be on the Supreme Court uh, you know they've looked at that um, it, does she have the experience? Uh, I, I think she was a little light on the experience. I think she's only been on the Court of Appeals like a year. I know she's only wrote like two opinions. That's why they focused on the two she had written. Right. Compared to uh, the previous uh, folks who were up for a vote, Kavanaugh and uh, and uh, Barrett mm-hmm. had wrote hundreds. Can I ask you so, this, Gus? Yeah, and you you're know, right. That's, that's a big difference. It, it and, then, and then you get to ideology. What what are they going to do? Are they going to be, oh, yeah. you know, extreme left wing? And I think that will be the case with her. Well, the problem is, and I, look, I, I, I'm just going to say it. I'm, I know that's not the way it operates. As a matter of fact, sadly, it does. it's really gotten bad on this point. But the Supreme Court really isn't supposed to be a political wing at all. All they're supposed to do is sit down with their knowledge of the laws that have passed and say, this case either lawfully should be judged this way or lawfully judged that way, period. Well, not, not I'm going to see if I can help the administration <laughs> that's in right now that I vote for and support personally in my life. But, but, but it's turned into just we, we hope we can outvote you. We're not even going to – the cases don't even seem to – it's like, well, what, what the Supreme Court and everybody on it is going to vote in the way that would advance the political party that they are most uh, – Connected to even when people write these long dissertations explaining why they legally did the ruling they did, everybody in America thinks what conservatives have got this many votes, the liberals got this many votes, and we all know how it's going to go. And you got one or two that uh, jump around just depending on what topic. Well, and that that was the question Uh, I was going to ask you. But they always jump around conservative vote with the liberals. You never have the liberals vote with the conservatives. That was the question. Again, this is about holding the line. This is the question I was trying to get to. Why is it in everything? Okay, in everything, including the Supreme Court, why is it the only people that will vote against the political leanings of those who wanted them in are cons- so? And I'm using the word conservatives, right? Right. Well, you, right. you you, you yeah. won't. Let me tell you something. A liberal will never give in. I mean, they they're going to vote the same way. You can say how they're going to vote on every single topic. There's never a well. This time never I'm going. No, yep. But why is it always conservatives that will bend? And liberals that won't. Well, I think, uh, and, and we could even say this: How and, and how that, when you but, go but to the court? How, yeah, how come when you go to the court that you end up drifting left? Right. No one drifts right. That's a better way to put it. Have you ever noticed? Yeah, that's that? a better way to put it. Well, I think it gets down to if you're principled, and this is in money management. Uh, this is in discipline of kids. This is in, yeah. you There's a time you have to say no. You can't do that. Right. No, that's not allowed. No, I don't believe in that, as opposed to anything goes. Right. And that's really the left side. It's anything. Go- the only sin of the left is disagreeing with me. Right. Which, by the way, does it means you're really not principled on anything goes. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So <laughs> I think there's a point where everybody deep down inside on some level wants to be liked. And I think they get tired of being beat up, beat up, beat up, and they will they will drift to the left and let a little go, a little go to try to keep the fire out of their hair, so to speak, you know, so they don't have to deal with it every day. Uh, that's the only thing I can imagine. And because there there isn't a situation where, you know, the left's not going to tell you anything's wrong. They're not going to tell you you can't do that. Look, look at what we're dealing with now. You want to be a girl? Be a girl. You don't compete in the boys uh, in the. You don't be a boy and be in the girl stuff. Go ahead. Who cares? We're all for it. We'll support you. Everybody who's against you is wrong. Right. Except for the poor girls who are now not winning, who should be winning. Well, I think they realize that it, you really can't live your life as anything goes because everybody's principled about something, whether they want to admit it or not. And just on that case, just say on gender. Well, what if somebody came out and said, "Well, in the world I live in, in the way I am." I don't think a biological man should be able to compete against a biological girl, so that's who I am. 
Well, well, they, well, they, well they don't say that's allowed. You can't right. have that point of view. You, mm-hmm. they'll, they'll tear your whole business down and take away your way to make a living if they can. Well, it, it's again, you so, can't. So they're really not everybody should be who they want to be. They're really not that way. Everybody should be the way we want you to be. Right, it. right. It has to be the right. anything goes side of it. Right. And, and just look at this, uh, the the big uh, dust up in Florida right now. Mm-hmm. Over the, the law there that has been passed saying we're not going to teach sexual issues to people who are third grade and below. Well, you think it's the end of time? Right. Okay. Well, I want to tell them. I right. want to tell everybody everything I know. Right. Right now. Right now. There's no need to wait. Well. Why, why are we waiting? Because i got to persuade them now. Right. You know, it's anything goes. New York City um, is putting up billboards in Florida telling people to come to New York. You can... You know, we we can say that here. Oh, and I like that. Yeah, man, I hope they go. <laughs> yeah. But the problem is you go, you better carry your mask with you, yeah. and you better empty about 10% out of your wallet yeah. right out of the gate. But, but if they go, maybe Florida will not, know. you know, because right now they're all going to Florida, and they're going to turn Florida into what's right, up. New right. York, we're never getting back. So send think, them to New York. I think as as conservatives, we need to put those billboards up in Texas. <laughs> right. We need to pay for it and try to get them out of there. Yeah. Because if they want to go back to states that, that we're never going to get anyway, that's fine. Just don't go mess up the states we got. Yeah, and as far as sticking together, Joe Manchin is probably the only exception you can find in recent history. Yeah, you know and, what? That's uh, true. He, he's, but that, doesn't that make him not really a liberal, though? <laughs> a progressive, well, I guess. He's back on their side Rick now. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. You, you were out there and you fought things politically. Now we get out there and we try to destroy people. We try to take away people's voice. We try to ruin their lives. We're... It's like you know we pitch tantrums and we lose our minds and and, and all and it's just we're, Rick, we're, I, I we think become, it, we become t- incredibly uncivilized. We really, really have, and we're we're kind of we're kind of devolving back into more of a, I don't know. We we seem to be acting a lot more like animals than we do people. Well, it, you know, it, 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 it seems and, and like just go out to try to destroy somebody just because you don't agree with. Them. And, and the thing is, they not only you know in the old days you would go and you would try to dig up what they call dirt but it would be to find out something about that person you could use now they just make up stuff plant stuff i mean it's it's unbelievable well do you remember what we all were so glad the evil that we tried to eradicate from our society and rightfully so do you remember when there was a time when people would make up stuff to go out remember the time we talked about how these were supposed to be the people that hated the mccarthy trials and you know, we'd, we'd right. go out and we'd declare somebody was a communist, and before you knew it, everybody was declaring you a communist. You look around going, right. how did that happen? You know, and we're, we're out to destroy you. Do you remember when people, because of their skin color, you'd make up crime accusations yeah. against them yeah. so you could ha- so you could kill them or have them removed? You remember all that? I thought that was stuff that, that especially this party claims to be the party that hates all that kind of stuff. But now they turn around and they do their own version of, of lynchings, of going after people that they don't like their opinion, and they want to destroy their careers and destroy their lives. And, 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 you know, if you can come up with something legitimate and, and people, that's fine. Then that's on the people and their behavior. But some of this stuff is just manufactured and made up just to destroy people. And I thought Hannity, it was funny yesterday. He said, look, I don't know what the future is for me with all this kind of stuff that I just talked about going on. He said, but here's what I want all of you to know. I have far exceeded anything I ever expected. (laughs) He said, if if they turn the switch off tomorrow, I far exceeded anything I could have ever imagined for my life. You know what? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, he he will be fine, but I I don't – I don't think there's anything to this other than just a lynch mob that's making up stuff. Well, what's going to happen is these advertisers at one point remember what they were supposed to do, and that is to sell products. And, th- and that's a big old audience that they're walking away from. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Through the night. All right, so uh, let's start with the Montana. Is he a representative or a senator? He's who, running for a uh, congressional seat. Okay, so. The election is today, I think. Yeah, and, and he got <laughs> got into a tough with someone from The Guardian. Yes. The, and, and, yeah. now, and now that reporter claims that the um, person running for this uh, congressional seat body slammed him, right? <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Montana, baby. There's probably two or three uh, stories on it but uh yep. or you just want to play the audio yeah with the- what you got is you got um you got uh, the um republican candidate he's running for a, a montana special election and then you've got the guardian reporter that uh wanted to ask him a question and uh he'd been trying to ask his, uh, him a, a, a request about his stance on health care 
uh, when he basically had had enough and lashed out mm-hmm. towards the reporter, and then you'll hear the scuffle. Well, now, Bubba that, says that he, he says though the reporter put his hands on him, didn't he? Uh, one report said that the I guess he went to move a microphone right. or something, and the reporter put his hand on the on the candidate's wrist, and that's when he went nuts on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so just go lay your hand on a Montana representative's. <laughs> <laughs> so when they understand. <laughs> So when this audio starts, you're going to hear the reporter start to ask him a question. Yeah, and, and then and I want to tell people there there is there's not any like foul language, but there's a little bit of like you know your uncle's language. You know? Yeah, slang. Yeah. You yeah. go yeah. hear H E double yeah. hockey stick. Yeah. Not, and not, nothing nasty. The thing that but, holds water back. Yeah, right. you're going to hear a couple of because right. they get very agitated. Here. Yeah, here it is. Mm. To the CBO score because you know you were waiting to make your decision about health care until you saw the bill and it just came out. And what yeah, you and we'll talk it. to you about that later. Yeah, but there's not going to be time. I'm just curious if okay, you have to speak right with now. Shane, please. But you don't. Just... <laughs> I'm just tired of you guys. The last Jesus time you came here, you did the same thing. Get the hell out of here. Jesus. Get the hell out of here. The last guy did the same thing. You were the guardian? Yes, and you just broke my glasses. <laughs> you last guy did the same damn thing. You just body slammed me and broke my glasses. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Body you, slam. you just body slammed me and brought my glasses. No, there's there's more, almost there's more audio. By yeah, the way. yeah, we are. Yeah, you yeah. need to yeah. stay with it. How's the language? I'm okay. Uh, yeah, because he asked Double for bombs. <laughs> no, let's see. So far, can I get you guys' names? Hey, you gotta leave. He just body slammed me. You gotta leave. Somebody is okay. <laughs> he just body slammed me. Uh, I- It is uh, nine minutes now to the top of the hour. Will of Meat still in play can happen any time on the program. Uh, paying attention this week for that again. Rick and Bubba show, we think. Your exclusive home for the wonderful Will of Meat. Okay, so I uh, got a couple of clips. We were talking about what, um, uh, what the uh, mayor of New York City, uh, they're saying that uh, those of you in Florida who just feel like that you're just under the tyrannical rule of DeSantis, uh, you can go... And talk about whatever you want to with toddlers uh, there in New York. Uh, as Bubba has uh, told you, though, you, you might want to pack your mask and, you know, be able to live off a lot less money. But anyway, we'll start first with uh, New York Mayor Eric Adams, uh, this part about, um, you know, the the way the, the left uh, takes things and starts using terms like don't say gay that have nothing that, have, that is never in the bill or anything like that because they want to find some catchphrase they can rebel rouse everybody with. So here he is telling the folks in Florida who want to talk to about sex with small children, uh, that they can make their way uh, to, to New York. So here, here we go. That's what this movement of Don't Say Gay is about. Uh, this uh, political uh, showmanship of attempting to demonize a particular group or community is unacceptable. And we are going to loudly uh, show our support and say to those who are living in Florida, listen, we want you here in New York. You know, we want you right here in New York City. And it's more than just saying that. It's also standing up and aligning ourselves uh, with the men and women of the LGBTQ plus community and stating that we are in unison with you and your right uh, to uh, have... Uh, self-identification, your right to be uh, live the lifestyle and live uh, the lives that you choose to live without any form of harassment. Now, okay, I know so th- this is the ultimate straw man argument. Yeah. Uh, they, you would think this bill has outlawed oh, yeah. and oppressed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All it says is we're not going to teach sex education to kids under third grade. Right. That's all it says. Yeah. Which, by the way, w- were we ever? Was that ever yeah. a good idea? I mean, it's uh, well, let me, let me to ask push you this. either agenda. Would yeah, it be yeah. would it be a good idea to mm-hmm. teach how to balance your checkbook to kids under third grade, or how to invest in the stock market? Probably not. I mean, well, they're not ready for it. Yeah, right. They're yeah, not yeah, to right, that yeah, point yeah, in their yeah, life. Yeah, they're they're that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, and and a lot of this other, it's it's great they're point. not ready for that either. Yeah, so yeah. that's the point. Yeah, but there are some people pushing that. Don't you think they, they, they think that's how you indoctrinate? Get them well, early. One hundred percent. Get them early. Mm-hmm. So they said, "Look, we're not. No, no. This is uh, this is off limits. 
you have to deal with that when they get older. Yeah, that's all it says. But if you hear the mayor, yeah. he's telling you that they're hey, you think you got mobs out there hunting people? Down. Absolutely. And you know, he's, right. you know what he's basically that's not saying? That's not true. That's he's, not true. He is lying to you. I know, but think about it. He's basically saying, come to New York City if you want to teach sex education to kids third grade and down. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's your battle cry. That's, that's your come to our city. Come on. Uh, but anyway, so uh, now he's up. And by the way, I, I, my vocabulary is not impressive. That, but wow, that, that word. I could be it, mayor it, of New York. Is that a word? <laughs> yeah, I, I think he was trying to say we're we're unified with you, right? He says unisys. Is that? But maybe that's a form of of unity that I'm not familiar with. Well, Rick, I'm a word merger too. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. you know, I understand. <laughs> but but it, 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 I, I mean, merger. I could be wrong. That may be a, a word that's correct <laughs> to mm-hmm. use. I was he trying to say unison, like in unison. Yeah, but I don't think you're in unison with somebody. You're. You're unified with them. Yeah, I don't know. But he, I think yeah. he was trying to. Say so, unison. so we're all in unison. I don't know. Maybe he was. I mean, was you can't really yeah. listen to what the guy's saying. He was trying to, you know, kind of uh, act like you're not allowed to be gay in Florida, which I've been to Florida. Okay, <laughs> you're allowed to be gay in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trust he's never, me. He's never yeah. been to Key West. Seen it. He's never <laughs> been to Key West. <laughs> no. No. I've seen it. It's allowed. <laughs> yeah, I remember Sherry and I. Part of our honeymoon was Key West, and I've never felt like such an outcast. Hey, hey, <laughs> I was screaming, "We're heterosexual." Yeah. Yeah. Pensacola cola to you really yeah oh uh, yeah you're uh, allowed okay for sure well 100%. Key, key west uh, people were taking pictures of us because we were a heterosexual couple <laughs> yeah right all right so uh all right so now you're like bigfoot <laughs> yeah now we go to uh this thing about he he claimed he was going to remove mask and he and he hasn't done it and somebody calls him out on well, it he, he gets it, a question yeah. from a, a city lawyer yeah who is a mom who is actually on maternity leave, but she's at this meeting. She asks him a question. All pregnant. Calls him and holds his feet to the fire on something he said. And yeah, he, he tries to explain it. You'll hear this. And then hours later, she's fired from her job. Wow. There we go. Thank you for you on NASCAR Toddlers. Ten days ago, you stood right here and you said that the, the masks would come off on April 4th. That has not happened. You reneged on your promise. And not only did you renege on your promise, you had your lawyers race to court on Friday night to overturn the state court. No, 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 let her, let her finish because you let us start. Go ahead and finish, man. Don't miss that part. Yeah. You let her start. Right, you got to come to a conclusion. Can I will. I'm getting Okay, get, come to a conclusion. I'm not Turn on your phone so you can get my answer correctly. I, I got my friend right here who okay. you, who you told you on back? March 17th that mm-hmm. you would trust me, I will unmask your toddler. You had your lawyers race to court on Friday night, arguing that there would be irreparable harm if children under five were allowed to take off their masks today, along with their older siblings in school. So my questions are, what is the irreparable harm to children aged two to four taking off their masks, just as they do in Long Island, just as they do in Westchester? When will you, and when will you unmask our toddlers? Thank you. Uh, as I stated, as you indicated, I made the announcement that we were looking to announce today, which is Monday, to uh, take the mask off to two to four years old. But I also stated that we see an uptick. Yeah, and he just goes on to be, oh, there was an uptick, you know, yeah, right, yeah, sli- yeah. the sliding science there, scale. The audio yeah. on the uh, story on Daily Mail is a lot better of his part of it, if you if you want to go back and hear some more of it. But he, he basically sidesteps the issue, doesn't answer the question. And uh, then the the real story on this is hours later she's fired. And didn't they say they were going to fire her anyway? It has nothing to do with. Well, her that's what the question. city said. They said she was scheduled to be relieved sure. of duties anyway. Sure, she was. And just the fact that she made this uh, very, I thought, very fair question to the mayor on something he had promised uh, seemed to. Ex- it looked like Rick maybe accelerate that process. Yeah, somewhere. right. Yeah. Well, let's 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 talk about this. What we're talking about here. We're talking about toddlers two to four years old wearing masks. First of all, it is it is completely impossible for them to wear the mask, even if you think, Correctly. They, even yeah. if you think they work, okay, which that science is pretty well established um, on, on what you need to maybe make some difference with something that is these tiny molecules. And then you've got to expect, let's say you get the right mask on a two to four year old, okay? You, and by the way, you're not going to, but let's say you and do. Hang on, stay on. They're not, it's not going. They're what going what they right. would have to do if you think it even makes a difference <clears throat> can't be done. No. And then their risk of having you know, major issues with it, even if they get it, is minuscule. The damage we're doing to them mentally 
and 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 I mean, I mean, literally psychologically and even physically, about kids that age living their lives in masks publicly is ridiculous. I mean, it we're we're acting like it, it, it's almost like with this mask thing, period, and with kids especially. Like the wheel has been invented, and we're all still riding horses. Mm-hmm. We this information is in. It's we're not searching for it anymore. We kind of know how this thing operates, and to keep doing things that ha- that have already been proven that they don't work and can be damaging to little kids, I don't understand it. And she says it's not even going on all over New York. It's just here in the city. On top of the hour. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Uh, interesting. Uh, we were just having this conversation about term life insurance here at the office just the other day. I mean, uh, you know, Bubba and I, we're, we're, you know, late fifties now, uh, and you, your insurance, if you're like us and you went with term younger, you know, it's probably dwindling away now. Uh, and, or maybe you're just looking to do life insurance for the first time. Let me point you term is the way to go. And let me point you to the company that will make this so simple. And that is ladder L a D D E R ladderlife.com slash Bubba, uh, and see if you can get instantly approved. Now I want, I want you to hear this ladder is 100% digital. There's no doctors. There's no needles. There's no paperwork. When you apply for 3 million in coverage or less. So we're getting you all the way up to 3 million or less, and you never have to see a doctor, no needles, no paperwork. Just answer a few questions about your health in the application. You just need a few minutes and and a phone or a laptop to apply. Ladder's smart algorithms work in real time. So you're going to find out if you are instantly approved. So they're waiting around on this. There's no hidden fees. You can cancel anytime you want. You can get a a full refund if you change your mind in the first 30 days. So ladder policies are issued by insurers with long, proven histories of paying claims. They're always going to be rated A and A-plus by AM Best. Now, remember, the ratings you see right now on ladder are an average of 4.8 out of 5 stars. Okay? And Trustpilot uh, and, and also Forbes Best Life Insurance 2021 list put Ladder on theirs as well as, as one of the best. So you're in good hands, and it's simple. And let's face it, you just want to know that when your time comes that your family is taken care of and they're going to get this amount of money. So go to ladderlife.com slash Bubba today and see if you're instantly approved. That's L-A-D-D-E-R life.com slash Bubba. He's wanting witnesses. Yeah, there's just a touch <laughs> maybe of a setup here that they were trying to oh, provoke this guy. Yeah. Uh, time one guy said, if you think this is bad, you ought to see Sean, you ought to hear Sean Hannity show. Okay. But anyway, uh, the uh, so so what what is I mean, no one in the Boy, time that we're living in, there, there's no one that got this on, on video because I want to see it so bad. I mean, the audio is, is pretty fantastic, yeah. but I would love to see it. No, I, I, no. I don't know. I kind of feel like there may be some out there. There's got to be a cell phone recording. It happened so quick, though. Unless they were already recording, they wouldn't have it probably. Yeah, yeah. so, so I, I don't know. Did you, Let uh, me dream. Yeah, well, I mean, you're right. In this situation, if it just been something like, you know, out at the park or something, we'd had so many right, shots over. Right, right. But uh, did, uh, I was- so I, I don't know this guy. I don't know his, uh, you know, his political positions on everything and and all that. But you know, I'm I'm kind of digging the fact he'd had enough. Of I was going to say this may get him more votes. Yeah. You better not grab his wrist. There, there, he it, may win today because of this. Here's the problem: what you're going to have is you're going to have a, a you're going to have the libs acting like he's the worst yeah. thing that ever happened. Oh, and yeah. sadly, there'll be some gutless Republicans that'll that'll agree with him, and, and they'll think it. May, it'll they think here's the thing: they won't they won't be sincere at all. No. But they'll think by patronizing the liberals of their state that somehow those people will like them now. 
Yeah. And, and they'll remove him thinking, yeah, well, hey, we're removing him. Y'all don't be mad at us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They've don't even be mad got, with me. They haven't got to have the, uh, like, local county sheriff. He's now having pressure to investigate it. This, the Montana State GOP is uh, being pressured to back out and, no, sure. and you know, denounce uh, him. But and, pressured by who? Uh, the, the liberal media. I, hey, look, I, look, <laughs> I, I tell liberal media, <laughs> the, hey, hey but, don't get in my face. But yeah. I, I go back. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say more it face. Well, we, we talked about this a minute ago, but the, every time it comes up, it. let's keep adding to the theme. Another thing that's inconsistent, is: are there bigger bullies in our country right now than, yeah. the, than the left? No. I mean, what they often said was bullies cause people to not be – they terrorize people, that you can't function, you're worried about the next time they're going to come, you know, for no apparent reason, come against you. They, they try to they try to uh, fear monger. They try to scare you. They try to threaten you. And, and they claim that bullies are the, are the worst things uh, in our country. But but are there bigger bullies than them? <laughs> no. No. I mean, th- that's it. Because nobody in the GOP really thinks – they're all glad he slammed this guy. But they're going to go out and try to be liked by getting rid of him. Yeah. And guess what's going to happen? They'll get rid of him, and they still won't be liked. I predict in Montana he'll he'll get extra votes. For yeah, that. well, the people Rick will probably Bubba, love it. Rick and Bubba. I feel good. Well, we got controversy in Texas, Rick, over a valedictorian spot at graduation. Deep in the heart of Texas. Uh, according to reports there, and the headline, you know, it, when I first read it, it kind of carried me one way. I looked at the story. I went back. Now I'm looking at something else here. It says, student files restraining order to keep school from announcing valedictorian. Mm. So this is all in Rogers, Texas, and they are filing a restraining order against the school district to prevent them from announcing the class valedictorian and salad. I can't say it. Salutatorium? Salutatorium. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Bubba, I'm sorry. You, I, I don't, can't believe I said it either. Believe it or not, this was <laughs> n- nothing that ever stressed our mom and dad's <laughs> yeah. house. Seven minutes past the hour. Thank you for being with us. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number as we move into a brand new hour. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, uh, the gang's all here. Welcome back for a brand new hour. Put your hands together for Bill Bubba Bussy. Rick, glad to be here. Thank all of you for joining us. And uh, I know across the Rick and Bubba listening audience, a lot of weather issues today and tomorrow. Stay tuned to your Rick and Bubba station for all the details. Yep. Uh, so uh, as uh, there, there he is. There's a weather alert. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I'm on the job. <laughs> Unless you're sleepy. <laughs> you got fired back up. <laughs> well, I saw those warnings starting to come out about mid-afternoon oh, yesterday. Boy, yeah. Good night. Yeah, it's like he, he's back on it. Boy, a lot of computers, you know, yeah. lightning well, and computers. I'll I, I tell, hey. tell you what he was doing. He was getting his warning out before he got sleepy. That's, yeah. that's what it was. Because yeah. <laughs> once he gets sleepy, F5 can come. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I, you know, there's no worse feeling than think somebody's got their post and they don't. <laughs> uh, so um, be watching. All right, yeah. so we uh, yesterday after the um, – the show was over. I've got I've got kind of an uh, an active uh, uh, week uh, as far as um, post show today. Uh, this week we had uh, today John Thomas. Rick, I was wondering, is there any possible way that I could come by? He is in town and he's going to come by and see us uh, late in the show today. He's already texted me and says, "I will let you know when my son Victor and I arrive." <laughs> uh, so anyway, we'll we'll see how that goes. But he's going to have a meeting. Here in town, obviously, uh, with some churches concerning the ongoing work at Living Hope South Africa. Uh, and then if, every time he's in town, he wants to go ride four wheelers. <laughs> Weather not great. Not a good day we'll, for that. We'll see yeah. if we get a little, a little, a little break. Iffy. A little, but a little, you will have some good mud. Yeah, we will. But uh, so yesterday, uh, I've uh, I've got a, an old college roommate that, um, you know, retirement is not for everybody. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, and yeah. uh, in, in my old college roommate, uh, Coach Stacks, who's been a football coach for a very, very long time, coached with Dad at Jacksonville State during uh, their big run when he was there. And he's, gosh, Greg, can we even list where he's coached everywhere? Oh, yeah. Uh, and he's been all over the place. Um, and uh, was I figured a, he'd go right into broadcasting when he got done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did too. I did too. I did too. So he that or counseling. So <laughs> I, I've never had this happen before, you know, because I I never really got to see him that much. I mean, we literally will go nine, ten years and not yeah. see each other, but we'll text every now and then. Well, that's or what guys. Do. That's the guy thing. Rick, he lives less than a mile from me, and I haven't talked to him in two years. I think. Right, <laughs> and, and so. Um, so the fact that he coached with dad for many years too, he really wanted to spend some time with dad and, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, that wonderful time of year. So he just started aggressively saying, Hey, look, we, we got to get together and do something. So Sherry's been on the road with the, uh, uh, youth pastor summit, uh, for, well, it continues, but for four out of five weeks, uh, on the Mondays and the Tuesdays, one of those two days, if not both, she'll be tied up speaking somewhere with a student leadership university, Orlando. Uh, is continuing today, but she actually spoke yesterday, so I got some good texts for some youth pastors that were there. Thank you all for that. Uh, I read her your encouraging text when she got back last night. But I thought she was going to be gone for a couple days, but now because of that thing that got with her flight and her schedule, she's actually just flew in and flew back yesterday. But we already had on the on the table that the guys um, were going to go to the farm, and, and uh, Greg and Dad and and Coach Stacks uh, and I were, were all going to go fish a little bit. His wife, I've never seen so straightforward. I've never had somebody's wife beg me to do something with their husband. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, will you please do something with him, give him something yeah, to do? He is thing. driving me. Look, you know how he does, too, how he talks. I said, how you like in uh, retirement? Hate it. Hate it. <laughs> Can't stand it. One month in, don't know what to do. Wow, got to do something. And uh, so I'm like, all right. So, so, but, but he's kind of, you know, he, we're all getting older and, you know, big stacks is banged up a little bit. You know, he played a little ball and he's been through all kinds of stuff. I mean, he, two knee replacements. And he did his at the same time. Same time. Right? Yeah. Wow. He comes that's from that. My, that's a man. He right comes there. from that Bill Burgess deal. I, we, I need both of them replaced. Let's replace them both. I'm not coming back in here. Mm. <laughs> he's he's uh, had some battles with cancer. Uh, praise God. He, he got Double through rounds. that. And, and that, some of that got pretty serious. So, um, so we, you know, and and all all of us, we talk about this on the show all the time. Men like to compete in everything, but we try even when we try not to compete. And Greg, you're you're no you're 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 we're you're, competing you're, not to compete. Right, right, yeah. So sometimes you end up ruining it. Yeah. So we go by and get pop, and uh, of course, as soon as Dad gets in the truck, it it doesn't take me long to do this. As <laughs> soon as he gets in the truck. I said, well, I hope today you do a little better than last time. He said, what? I said, well, I mean, I'm just talking about how I keep out fishing you. And I can't tell you what he said. But yeah. he, he, he replied something yeah. that means what I said was not correct or truth. Okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it involves uh, a male uh, cow. So anyway, the uh, and and, and no, what it leaves behind. Yeah, and nobody says it better than Dad. Oh, really? yeah, with, with such passion. It was and so so we uh, we head that way, and all of us are trying the. Hey guys, look, let's let's eat some lunch. Over the lunch, we're like, let's just go down there and relax. Let's just ride the land. Uh, we did. We did, and then we're gonna fish a little bit. <laughs> and then even there was some saying that they're gonna be in some kind of competition. Let's just all fish, okay? And um, I think it was maybe ten seconds, <laughs> maybe fifteen. Greg threw in and the and his lure hit the water, which however long that takes. And gets a gets a fish on, and all of a sudden he goes, "Oh, here we go, one to nothing." Yeah. And I, I was like, "Well, okay, I guess that's all <laughs> First out." First cast. I, I, I guess that's all out. <laughs> hey, look at here! And uh, by the way, we didn't even have our rods out. Either. You you went over and rushed. Uh, I did. I jump uh, started. Yeah, you jumped. You jump started. But uh, but we had a really really good day, and yeah, um, well, he and boxed your dad out. Greg. Yeah, yeah. No okay, wonder. fishing all over. Yeah, listen, he you taught me. All over? He yeah. taught me that move. Yeah. <laughs> well, well th- you know, it became those kind of things because yesterday was one of those days. There oh my is. goodness! Yeah, well, th- little th- bend in the rod. This has been one. Of, this has been one of those times where, <laughs> where you, I think, you can leave the rattle traps and the spinner baits and the jigs and move to plastic. And no one thought it was time. And all of a sudden, they look over there, and I get what I think was the fish of the day. I think mine was a little bigger. I think, I think it was the fish. Too close you? to call, Rick. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it, 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 so so anyway, so Man, so so time. Coach Stack sees me like that, and he realizes that I'm now walking in to set the hood, and he goes, "Nah, are you on the plastic?" 
mm, like that. He goes, don't, 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 and he starts trying to mess me up. <laughs> nope, nope, not yet. No, no, like that. And I said, will you please stop? And and so, and, and then I'll start, start going, good fish. And that was the thing we kept screaming. <laughs> okay. For some reason, we got into nice that became yeah. our, that good fish, <laughs> that became, but we say it that way. If you got a fish on it, it was pretty good. good. Oh, good fish. <laughs> and you would just scream out across the pond, oh, good fish. And, uh, and so, um, so I, Greg, I don't, it got controversial. I, I, I think you, Bubba, will appreciate this because, you know, I love to go into the world of confusion and then take over. So everybody got confused trying to keep up with who, how many was doing what. <laughs> yeah, I could. And remember. all of a sudden, I caught a fish, and I said, that puts me up by one. Yeah. <laughs> and it was getting toward the end. And the stacks was doing the same. Yeah, I just went up by one. And we, I caught so, like five in a row. He goes, okay, you're within two of me. <laughs> I said, there's no way. <laughs> no, no. Let me tell you one thing. Stacks tried to take a fish because everybody had their own rods. Yeah. And, you know, oh, yeah. That they were doing. And all of a sudden, of course, Gary has to come. He senses we're there. Oh, yeah. And all of a sudden, he comes driving up. Hey, y'all catching any fish? <laughs> and he gets out and picks up one of Stack's rods and throws it out there and catches one. All of a sudden, I hear hey, I, hey, I, hey. I hear Stack say, five. <laughs> and I said, we think he gets caught on my rod. I said, you can't <laughs> claim a fish that was caught on yeah, your rod. That's crazy. Um, that's my, <laughs> sitting down. Look, and this is, Bubba, oh, you think Rick. I can get on about this? His back got to hurt. Rick kept asking if he needed a chair. He'd get mad. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> that, that became the running theme. He would not take a chair. Well, there's he, nothing he, wrong with sitting down <laughs> while you fish, Dad. Look, Listen, listen he, he would set you. the hook and lay backwards like <laughs> he did. <laughs> His back was hurt so bad, but he wanted to win. So <laughs> he, was he, laying he, was, yes. he would set the hook and fall back on the bank. <laughs> and so what was funny is when I realized that him – Asking for a chair was really bothering him. Yeah. What do you think happened then? Oh, you're going to ask all hey, day. Hey, you want me to get you a chair? <laughs> no, I don't want no chair. <laughs> and I said, a little, little time go by, and I said, I said, all right, so I'm going to go over and get you a chair. Hey, hey, if you get me a chair, <laughs> like, and I said, Greg, grab, grab Coach Stacks a chair. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and Why so, are you over there? Yeah, so he wouldn't give in, of course, but his back was killing him. But when we come back, Bubba, I've got bad news for you. We fished a long time. Long time. Because nobody wanted to call it. And, and, they and were, apparently everybody won. So who won? I don't really know. Close to it, it got out of hand. I mean, we we it's um <laughs> I think easily, easily between the four of us, we eclipsed fifty fish. Easy. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah I mean it, busy it, day. Yeah. It a lot was, of sore lip. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. But it was that none of us won't say we were tired because dad was there. <laughs> yeah. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Your truck doesn't care where you stop for gas. So- there was no Never strength. had to worry about no, it. No. Um, now, this all comes after senior Allison Talbert was denied this top spot due to a clerical a clerical error. I was about to say, what, what, is there some pastor? <laughs> you know, is there some, some preacher mad about it? <laughs> The, the, the salutatorian really got me. The salutatorian. Oh the salutatorian is wrong. Salutatorian. That's that guy at work that always eats a salad. Yeah. Uh, so the school has admitted the mistake, but will not do anything about it. Wait there's, a minute. There's just six days to go until the Too class bad. of 2017 graduates from Roberts High School, Rogers High School. The controversy is still brewing as to who earned this year's top honor. She says, and this is the girl, she said, if I earned it, I earned it, and there's no fighting that. The district admits there was a mistake with her midterm grade that cost her the top spot. Well, just correct it. But instead of making her the valedictorian, the district changed its mind and decided to use final grades instead of midterm grades. Oh, they changed the standard. Now, they typically use midterm grades for class ranks. So they changed it because they realized they messed up, so they just changed it to make it work? <laughs> yeah, that's my point. I, I don't All know. Right. That's so odd. Uh-oh. Man. You're right, though. It does because <clears throat> I don't know how, but, my, I mean, she didn't get it from me. But my daughter was in the running for valedictorian, and it was head-to-head with this guy. They've been going at it since they were in the sixth grade. And it came down to the wire. But like you said, cause I thought you had to end the year. And you're just like, no. At, at Whenever you go to Christmas, whoever's in the league is the winner. Because I guess th- – they they gotta gotta get all that settled. They can't yeah. wait till the final grades. And Chandler got that. Would you call it salutatorian? Would you call it salutatorian? Salut- 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 Give valedictorian a try. That's one of those words, and I've done this too. You're making it harder than it really is. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying either one of them. Right, salad <laughs> salutatorian. <laughs> that was <the> <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Right. By the way, so, you give me an idea why. though for a frou frou restaurant. Yeah. What a good Ooh, name. What, that would be. Why can't they have like? At, at our school, we had two 
valedictorian and one <laughs> on the other position. Yeah, and you know, I was at that graduation, and I like I don't know the details, so I don't know how it's done. I'm sure it was fine, but when they said we have two of them, I thought that meant that their grade point average and their ACT score would be the same. That means so you, can that, you, that that means you have a tie. But when they announced it, it wasn't the same. I thought that was interesting. So I didn't follow that. Are you, you must only have to win supposed by so big a margin? Maybe that's true. Are you are you only supposed to have one valedictorian? Correct. But unless you have a tie. Then you do too. Well, why don't they just put both of them up there if they made a mistake? What's the big deal? Yeah, I agree. Well, you get three more minutes of speech. What's right now, yeah. she's now What's a big huff. A restraining order. What does that mean? I mean, they can't well, have they, graduation. They're going to try to block it until they settle it. But and you know what? I, I understand that looks silly, but then I go back to the fact: if she earned it, why won't they just give it to her? I, you know, I, I don't know that they're in there wrong. Did what? they say going into this year, hey, we're going to go by the final grade no. before it started? No, they just they changed it when they found out when she said, hey, I think I'm valedictorian. They went back and said, ooh, you're right. Okay. We we did make that mistake, so we're just going to change the standard and say it's end of the year, not midterm. Mm-hmm. But that's never been how they've done it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know why people just didn't say, look, I wouldn't be happy up. about it. They, they said they contacted Steve Harvey, and he said that he's not involved. <laughs> I probably wouldn't hold up graduation over it, but no. I, I probably would complain. You wouldn't like it? No, I wouldn't like it. If there's any good news to them, it will never be brought up in their life ever again. That's my point. Uh, but, I mean, a year the, from now, nobody will remember. Is there a special um, – The next thing you got to learn is be on time to work. They'll fire you anyway, whether you're valedictorian or not. Yeah, uh, they don't care. Right. I mean, would that hurt – her getting into any type of any type of scholarship, scholarship, yeah, of any kind. I would think. I, I would know. think. I and would base more on your GPA and all that. I so would, but that be might covered. be able to go down as, as an achievement. Though. Right. Oh yeah, right. on your resume. Yeah. You know, when you send into a college yeah. you're trying to get into, and you put valedictorian versus salutatory, and they they do look at one with a little more, you know, influence than the other because yeah. one's supposed to be a higher accomplishment. Mm-hmm. Well, see, I really, I'm like you. I don't. I don't know the We're details not, of yeah, how they figure yeah, this yeah. because I've never had to really. She's not. Happy. Greg had to go through it. Uh, at our house, we've never sweated this. Well, they get serious about it. Too. Um, so you're what and, my, and our parents definitely didn't sweat. No, mm-hmm. but our it, parents were sweating that we were going to get handed something. But mm-hmm. in her case, the final grade at midterm was yeah. used. That was the that was what decided it. Talked about it a lot, too. Still a bone of contention between my mother and me is when I stood up with all the people that received <laughs> academic honors. Now, I, I did get an email. and Really, and really made her mad. When we are talking about why is it important, and they said it could affect scholarship money. It would. I would, think, I would think the valedictorian gets more money than the salutatorian. Two minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. 866-WE-BE-BIG is the number a good fish. And so we make our way back. And by the way, this good fish thing we kept hollering. Stack said that came from Roland Martin. But, I, but that he would do that and say good fish every time or something. Uh, but anyway, uh, so so anyway. Do you, do you get him and the, the TV show confused? I did for a long time. Who's that? Rowan Martin and Rowan Martin's laughing. Oh, you mean no. Roland Martin? Yes. And then Rowan Martin? Yes, very close. Uh, it was. I remember the first time <laughs> I heard two completely different things. But no, I remember oh. the first time I heard of Roland Martin. I was like, well, that sounds like the guy on Life <laughs> Well, that, well, that, that was stupid. the two guys. Yeah, 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 that yeah, was yeah, yeah. Last night. Even though that other guy was Rowan, which is a weird name. Right. Uh, but yeah, it did. Yeah, to you ever go back and look at any clips of that? Uh huh. It's funny. Yeah. It's funny to think yeah. what they were doing. Couldn't then. be on there today. <laughs> <laughs> no. So uh, so here's where it all goes south. Because right now, Bubba, you're thinking to yourself, man, not about me, Dice. And even if the weather was better today, I might think about going down there with John Thomas. But uh, but I think that this is going to change everything for you. Um, so I had an opportunity. You know, you, you know, we we're, we're not down there all the time. Nice fish. And of course, again, oh, good fish. <laughs> good but, fish. But anyway, then we start trying, right. yeah, good fish. Bubba, and right, then we start trying to say it as weird as we could. Right. Right. But why do you do stuff like that, Bubba? Of course, I do think I outfished everybody, but the uh, I, I, I definitely think I had the biggest fish, no well, doubt. That, that look, Are you I willing to give big and fish to me if I give you most fish? Yeah. Okay. But your big, I was. You, so I, I, I don't let, let me tell you who Greg was. I don't think competition should be negotiated the winners. No, no. Y'all but, forgot when I got on that streak over by myself. No, no. I, I, no, I was, I was about to say that, Greg. I was going to give you props. Did you holler out your number every time you reeled them in? Well, I, I lost count. We lost count. <laughs> 
But Greg, let me go back to I the. I really just like to fish and not have to worry about. I it know, but you can't left. help it. I can't stand all that. You can't help it. There's one, but you you started it this I know, time. I can't. Help but, it. Good thing. Greg, <laughs> oh, I got to go up there. <laughs> but anyway, um, here's what I want to say to you, Greg. I didn't watch the ball game last night. Which team got way ahead? Uh, and then North, there was a comeback. North Carolina. Carolina. All right, Greg was North Carolina. Right. I mean, when we <laughs> okay, I'll give you that. when we first got out there, Greg was out. I mean, way ahead. I mean, owning us. Yeah. Of course, you know. Stu, you know, he has a hard time moving around. I mean, it, you know, it's. Uh, I think considering that, he was laying on his back fishing, he did really well. My yeah. my, fa- yeah. my favorite Stu moment yesterday, Coach Stats There's a was a joke there, but I'm not going to say. Is he was showing he was showing me how good he could cast, which was hilarious. Greg, you remember that? And he is a good. Uh, you know how you get laughing sometimes. I mean, like real, real hard. <laughs> so that you got a structure out there, and if you go into it with a rattle trap, it's over. Yeah, you're hung. I mean, it's <laughs> over. I did. He looks at me. He goes. He, he, and he, and, and I, I can't explain. <laughs> Why his nickname for me is Jiggy? It's it's too much to go through. <laughs> but anyway, he goes Jiggy. He goes, he goes, he goes you look at my cast. Like, mm. <laughs> he goes, you hear that sound? Then all of a sudden he goes, uh, he, he said, hey, Jiggy, watch a little no look. Mm. And he did right into the bush. <laughs> right into I told that it went right in the middle. And I said, of course, you're stuck now. <laughs> look, and he goes, no, nah, what? <laughs> and you see yeah, him shut down. Then he lays down. So well, anyway, yeah, Bubba. Back, so you know when you when you have indoor. Pest control, you mm-hmm. have to be there to give the pest con- cooks yeah. access. Yeah. Yep. So they do the outdoor down there all the time. But I had noticed something in the barn that I didn't like. Because mm. I want to live in a life where I don't have rats in the barn or any of the houses. Right. Okay. Right. So I'd, I'd seen some sign. And I said, look, I'm going to be down there. I got to open everything up. Y'all come down there and let's go nuts. I mean, we, we got to. I don't, I, don't, I don't do rodents. Let's mm-hmm. go nuts. Let's go nuts. And so, um, so Maria is the tech, and and she's down there, and she's doing that. She's going to you know the the house, and and she's going to go over to Camp House. And I said, look, I do a pretty good job of eradicating anything at Camp House on the inside, but I need some more traps and da da da. da. Yeah. And uh, so all of a sudden, Greg, just like she texted, like you're texting, hey, okay, I've done everything. She goes, oh, by the way, there's a snake over here at Camp House. Mm. And I said, a snake. What? What are you talking? What are you, what are you talking about a snake? Sydney uh, and uh, Satan's little hand puppy. Yeah, mm-hmm. and she sends a picture of it. And was the it qu- dead? And the, oh no, she and, didn't kill it. And the and the quote was, "I think this is a copperhead." What? And, it was. I saw the picture. And I, and we looked at it, and I'm talking about it, that thing was this big around. Well, why didn't she kill it? I said, "So did you kill the copperhead?" <laughs> she goes, "No, it'll probably help to get rid of the rats and the rodents." I said, "Whoa, whoa, 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 oh, 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 Time out. Whoa. At that point, Greg had on the table, I saw it with my own eyes, he could stay at Camp House, he could stay with Mom and Dad, or he could stay with me in town not to have to drive all the way back because we stayed, we were going to fish all day, eat dinner with Dad and stacks and all that. At that moment, I saw him take Camp House off the list. Yeah, I, yeah, I watched I him there. literally, yeah. literally yeah. take his I pen. Was and it and outside the, or yeah, inside? The outside, oh, but yeah. on the carport. Uh, Behind the trash can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Evil SOB. Mm-hmm. Bubba, I have a picture. I didn't send it to Real wet around. I didn't send it to yeah. you. I'm sorry. It's not a great picture. I didn't send it. He didn't have it. I'd have to show it to you. <laughs> See, now it's time to take him out because you know he, he ain't moving real good. Yeah, it's still no. a little cool. So yeah. that been That's time right. to get I, I don't know. Now, in all fairness, what Sherry said to me when I got when she got home last night and I got home, she said, Did you, know, you go kill it? Uh, I could. We tried to find it. Oh, no. the fish it's still loose. Up. Yeah. We, 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 uh, oh. All right. You want me to send it to well, you? Well, I mean, she did let you know, and she yeah, did. I'd she did. She did take care know. of the house. It, well, Sherry said, "Well, here's a concept, Rick. Maybe she didn't want to be possibly bitten by the snake. Maybe that's not. She's not a well, snake handler. That's probably right. She's not a snake handler. Yeah. Right. And I was like, pest. Right. I don't know, Rick. That's another bunch that does snakes. They mm-hmm. don't. And I thought, well. That's what you use a hoe for. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I, if true. it's big enough, then if, you, if you we, upgrade to well, bigger firepower. If we had found it, if, if we had found it, it would have been all. It had been all over. Mm-hmm. You know, if oh, we, I, Rick, you might have to burn that place down. I know. I told. Right. Well, you know, if it was out, if it was out in the pasture somewhere or over, we all move on. Right. Of course, all I can think about is that issue next door. I've been trying to resolve. I ain't nothing but a. Uh, yeah, that's where it's coming. That's from. That's just creating a snake haven. Over. You, that's you, exactly you where it's it coming from. Still mad about that. You talking about how big it was? It may be pregnant. Well, I, it, it was just fat. It wasn't very long, but it was yeah. fat. Maybe you're going to spit them out. No, you're right. I mean, all those things. Are, oh, there it is. Oh, no. 
Oh, mm. hello, hey, Copper. Fella. Look at that old yeah, head. That is. Man, that's yeah, bad right there. Gracious alive. That's bad. He needs to go. That needs to go. There. That's Sticky bad. pad's not going to get that one. No. I get letting rat no. snakes and chicken snakes go, but not you this. You can't let that you go. You can't let that walk. Mm-hmm. Rick, that's, that's dangerous. Or slither. That's like a, that's like a gun laying around. I know. Around. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it really <laughs> is. <laughs> it, it, was, it, it brought a little bit of a downer to it, didn't it? It did. Yeah, I saw Greg. He, he had his truck parked so he could get his stuff into camp house. But I'll tell you one thing, he shut that back door. Yeah, that diamond-shaped head. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that thing may be up under your tire. You I don't know. know where it's no. Well, and then, of course, then then stack starts. It's in your house, you know, of course. Sure. And he's, sure. Like, he's like, oh, he, remember when you made me he Google some stack. He said something about Google. He said 86 per, 86% chances in the house. I said, are we going 86? He said, Google it. 86? I said, Google it? He made yeah, what, did, what, what, what stat? Google, what stat what was Google that? By the way? I don't know what he's talking about. We can Google it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Rick. She's just spraying. She's not a snake handler. I understand that. Yeah. I just was a little. She, but she lets you know. Hey, heads up. Yeah. What I thought it was. And it is in, per- the, it's in a perfect condition. And it's in the country too, so you're gonna see that. Perfect position to have his head cut I'm off with a, with yeah. a hose. Well, too, I just thought. I, I thought it was gonna be a good news. <laughs> hey, look what I killed. Yeah. And and I didn't get that. See, it'd be hard to shoot a 12 gauge into that corner. Yeah, well, I was thinking it. about that. Yeah. The judge can't shoot in there. <laughs> Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. And the salutatorian, I mean, who knows what they get? I know. Yeah. I get yeah, it. They're lucky to get anything, yeah, any scraps <laughs> left over. You know what? You know what their parents said? You can't have it. You, <laughs> no. can't, you can't even be valedictorian when you when you when you get down to it at the right time. Yeah. They change the rules on you. Can't even. D- why, how much you again? Love, why do you think that they didn't just? Fit? Is this a package on the whole thing? Maybe they've got some more info on it. You want to hear it? Well, we don't have no, time right no. now, but we could come back and hear it. And uh, I want to hear you say salutatorium one yep, more time. I'm not saying it. You can do salutatory. Salute. Yeah, you got that. Who? <laughs> you, you ran up on that, and it wasn't as much trouble as it looked like. Yeah, I was studying the grade thing. <laughs> you saw a tree in the road, and you thought it was covering the whole road. You can go around. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. just not a word I use a lot or hear a lot. No, really. no, no, no. Once a year. Yeah. Nah, not that much either. Yeah, I'm like you, Greg. <laughs> I think it must be – most schools have different standards – because when I heard the two, the graduation I went to, one of them had a higher grade point average and a higher ACT score than the other one, but they made them both valedictorian, and then another person got salutatory. And I thought, well, if they're not the same, it's not a tie. But but then yeah, I guess what I'm thinking unless is – Unless they have a formula. They must have a formula. Where they're both yeah. close. And it's no big deal. Real close. They above both. a certain GPA, blah, blah, blah. Look, all – Again, we, me and you, we didn't yeah. have to worry about it. All three of those students were so remarkable, it really didn't matter. How about here's three remarkable students, and they really were. Mm-hmm. You talk about getting after it academically. Yeah. Wow. Um, nothing. I wonder what that feels like. I have no idea. I really yeah. don't. Mm. It's, it's one of the things that my wife, you know, who was academically pretty good, um, and uh, she said uh, to one of our kids the other day that they claimed a test was hard. She said, tests are never hard. It's it's hard when you don't know the answers, meaning you weren't prepared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you know the answers, tests aren't hard. If you know the if you don't know the answers, then tests can be very hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? We'll be back. Bottom of the hour. More Rick and Bubba next. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. I want to go back just quickly to that ridiculous story about these women in Portland, Oregon, that have been shut down because they're claiming that these women stole somebody's culture. Cultural appropriation. Yeah. Uh, is that what they're calling? Yeah, it's, it the, all these new words we keep coming making up. up these, stuff. This, yeah, we might. They're saying that these women are evil because they went into Mexico and Puerto Rico, and they saw the way these uh, women were making these delicious uh, burritos, and they came back and tried to master the way these women were doing it, and they opened up a burrito food trailer that everybody was loving, and they're saying it's evil that white people have come back with the way these things are made in their culture and you can't take that culture and then come over here and do it. But we've been doing that in America. I don't know how to, I don't know how to break it to y'all about America. America was designed for cultures to assimilate into one culture. There you go. Uh, and, and, it, and it's kind of, it's supposed to be this, the best of the world has to offer, uh, including different kinds of food and, and things like that. Here's where they messed up. They opened up in their own area. They, they should have known if they're from Portland, that Portland people are weird. <laughs> and, they, and they should have known that you out in that part of the world. I mean, what's next? You go up one in Seattle. Out, I, I mean, out at the night circuit out there. Hey, you bring that delicious burrito down here. Uh, you, you go ahead and bring it down where we are. Set up your trailer, and we'll, we'll sh- we won't say a word about it, and you'll enjoy it. I wish they were here in our parking lot. I want to just I want to see if I have this right. So, if people who were Puerto Rican or Mexican had opened it in American, 
uh, in America, would they have been okay? Rick, all I can offer I think. up, all I can offer up is this definition from Google, which went to Wikipedia. Cultural appropriation is the adaptation or use of elements of one's culture by members of another culture, often unavoidable when multiple cultures come together. Cultural appropriation can include using other cultures' traditions, fashions, symbols, language, and cultural songs without permission. Why you got to get permission? Permission so, from who? So do we have to have permission to celebrate Seco de Mayo? Is exactly. That, is that is that what it's saying? Who do you get permission from? Who's the official spokesperson? Now, this goes back. This must be what the West Coast is dealing with right now. This goes back. Remember the argument that girls could not wear hoop earrings yeah, unless yes, they yes. were Mexican or, or something. African American. African American. African, well, no, yeah. I don't, was it, who was it? I think from? it was somebody. No, it was, it was a one Puerto group. Rican? One group mad. With it was a group, group mad. Like they had the corner market was on, it on hoop earrings. Was it Puerto Ricans? I, I don't yeah. remember, but it was in it was I in California. It. So would that fall under that? Is that the big hot yes. topic now? You can't be part of our culture. Without I mean, I, America, the melting pot, which means we all join in together. We we end up celebrating each other's things. I mean, yeah. that's kind of part of it. But where did the hamburger come from? The hamburger? Is that Germany? The hamburger. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> from Hamburg, Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like that? It is 35 minutes past the hour. The Rick and Bubba Show, 866. We Be Big uh, is our number. I had a blues man on the back in the future in that wheel. Uh, down in the middle of the night, they say they're laughing and I'm looking and we're feeling all right. Rick and Bubba Show. Back for another day. A to B dot com slash radio. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you, really timely for those of you out there. We all know fuel prices are crazy. Managing your fuel usage, time consuming. Uh, so whether uh, your truck or company vehicle, uh, whatever the case may be, you got that fleet out there. Uh, those vehicles really couldn't care less where they fuel up as long as they do. Uh, that's why your fleet uh, is, should be using a card uh, that gets discounts wherever you fill up, not just specific stations. Uh, hey, I need to fill up. I got I got to go to the one that gives us a discount. Or, oh, man, where is it? Uh, well, this card is better. A to B dot com slash radio. Uh, you deserve to save everywhere. Uh, and this fleet fuel card uh, will give you discounts anywhere you fuel up because it's accepted wherever they take Visa. So it's just a better deal. Uh, so uh, so there's no setup fee. There's no transaction fees, no monthly fee, no late payment fees, no over-the-limit fee, no gallon limits to the amount of discounted fuel. Plus, you'll build business credit when you pay on time, which you're going to do anyway. If you're, if you're successful, you're doing that already. Uh, so why don't you go right now? They also have 24-7 customer service. A to B dot com slash uh, radio. That's the letter A, then the word T-O-2. A to B dot com slash radio. There's also a limited time you can get a $50 credit when you use their zero fee card. So notice that too. Uh, a to B dot com slash radio. Or Rick and Bubba dot com under the sponsors button. So Bubba, we really came to an agreement so we could all get along and enjoy dinner together before we all went back home. Uh, we made the agreement that we would call it a four-way tie. Uh, we, it, we were having so much fun and we fished for so long, we kind of lost count on where we were. And so uh, we all just agreed that we would go our separate ways. Greg said he, that staying at Camp House was now out after the Copperhead. Uh, and we all went back and it was a beautiful, beautiful day right before this Bad weather today, and it was great. That is a good Sound day. Sound like you've lost had a great day. Yeah, it yeah, is. I hate yeah, I couldn't make weather. it, Rick. I, I really hate I couldn't go. Well, you know, I can only take care of so many people on one trip. <laughs> yeah. I've got I've got one person that uh, that can't stand. I've got a, my dad who's uh, eighty one, uh, and uh, you know, Greg and I can only take on so many Greg's people. Greg's a big today. rump. Yeah, yeah. Right. gotta deal with that. Yeah, gotta deal with it. Right. Well, <laughs> I got stuck by a lot of hooks. Yep. Yeah. One time I had to get a hook out of Greg's hand. It was bad. 
They didn't leave enough slack when you're trying to get that. Well, door out. they start. I know. Well, yeah. I like to have the pliers, but sometimes yeah, I don't want to walk like all the way back to the truck. Well, we yeah. have you three have, pair you of don't pliers. You have your little safety, yeah. your little belt you put on. Oh, we just put all your tools. We, we, see, this is, this is what I'm talking about. Good. Yeah. 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 No, no, no wonder you didn't let Papa come with you. I said I can only take care of so many people. You know. Hey, I got all my own tools. Right. To take care of me. I have to get Bubba's fish off for him. Hey, no, yeah. I have my long pliers. You don't need if a belt. You get, you if you get if you get stuck pocket. about three or four times with a hook, you'll go. You know, oh, there's got to be a better way. Oh, let me tell you, those rattle traps will reach out and grab you. Oh, mm-hmm. they're hard. I mean, to, they're hard to get out of right, the mouth without getting stuck. When, when yeah. the fish decides to shake, about oh, the time yeah. you're getting. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. I've had so, it. I've had it go into my hand and just sit there and go. Well, there it is again. <laughs> so uh, a nice tie into this. You know, we started a little wow, segment when we that. came to the new uh, office called "Strange Gifts We yes. Get in the Mail." Oh yes. Did we ever come up with theme music for that? Uh, yeah, it was called "Strange Gifts." <laughs> <laughs> we get in the mail. <laughs> so this is this is really cool. This comes. Uh, you, ever, you ever been to Nashville, Rick? Oh yeah, Nashville, Georgia. No. Oh, well, okay. wait a minute. Maybe, that wait a minute. Now? I think I may have. <laughs> I didn't know there was a Nashville, well, I Georgia. Uh, I probably have. Uh, I I've been to some, Bremen. I bet there's some confusion. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Props on how you asked uh, that. Yeah. That was a good one. <laughs> it really was. You ever been to <laughs> Nashville, uh, Rick? This, uh, that was good. Nashville, this is Georgia. Sent, sent to the show, mm-hmm. Attention Bubba. Uh-huh. Dear Bubba, a few weeks ago, I was listening to the show, and Check I heard you out. say that you would like to have a Ronco pocket fisherman. Oh, yeah. Your comments triggered a memory that I had a new in-the-box pocket pocket fisherman in my office. I've had it at least 15 years. Please accept wow. this gift as a token of my appreciation for you and the Rick and Bubba show that you do a clean, funny, entertain, entertaining show. Um, as a pastor, I always look, uh, I'm always looking for a way to laugh without having to listen to dirty talk. I especially like the days Greg is not there. <laughs> no, I, I added that Nerdy part. Talk. I like this comes from uh, uh, Keith, Nerdy books. This comes from Keith Stewart <laughs> at First Baptist Church, Nashville, Georgia. There you go, Keith. Keith. So, Look at the original You know, commercial. Rick, I had one of that. these when I was a kid, and then I had one uh, when I was doing my TV gig, and I was in charge of uh, per inquiries. Oh, I bet that's uh, and Yeah, I got a lot of free stuff to oh, try yeah. out then. And uh, so here it is. I mean, it, it's new Rick, in the box. I can't wait to play with that That needs to be used thing. down there at the lake. <laughs> well, but how about I, I? I know a guy that used to keep one of these in the dash of his truck. And if he got around water, he would break it out and throw it. I mean, <laughs> I've never caught a fish on one of those. I haven't. Did you ever like catch a fish try. on one, Bubba? Uh, I think I cast it a lot. I don't remember yeah. reeling in one. Yeah. Be, so, careful, be careful, so, Bubba. That's been in his office for 15 years. So that's my thing. I thought so you could still get the pocket fish, but maybe not. After, I, because I that was 15 years it, ago. You know, Ronco was way ahead of their time. Oh, Ronco. I mean, they were, they were Amazon-like before Amazon. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what Stacks needs so he can sit and fish. That's right. <laughs> Perfect for him. So there he, could, go, he could clip it on his belt and just carry it around with him. Do you remember yesterday when I told him, I said, you are so laid back on that bank. I said, you're one click from not even fishing. <laughs> yeah, Rick, I don't know that we can call this fishing. fishing. <laughs> I said, I think you're lounging with a rod. <laughs> <laughs> What I love too, it even comes with a, a dummy lure here, so you can practice. Oh, you can practice uh, I like it. It. What kind of weight do you think that line's got on it? Uh, not a lot. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't even know if I can throw this one. I haven't done it in a while. Oh, my gosh. Uh-oh. We're, we're, oh, my gosh. We're, we're, just, ain't that upside down? Yeah, I think it is. I think you're upside no, down. No. I think your button goes on top. That's not it. What no, it's, it's the white on the top. There we it's go. There we, there we go. There we go. He's a <laughs> nice Look at the tippy rod. Don't... Tippy rod, I tell you. Again, yeah. Rick, this would be you yesterday. Yeah. Help me, somebody. No, somebody just... help me. Somebody, anybody hey, help me. Y'all are wrong. It's this one. <laughs> <laughs> I still oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm afraid wrong. I'm going to hit the lights. Listen, I'm trying to sign The tip of your rod on. should be the other one. Uh, yeah. The tip of the rod, you don't throw on the, the yeah, eyelet like that. that. You don't throw with the eyelet like that. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you, that's the. Well, it may be. What's that white button? Huh? That's what, what it, I thought. You what hold is that the white button and let it go. That's Try that. It's not. It's not. It's not oh, they say that, like you said, it's been there for 15 years. Oh, wait a minute. There, oh, it, is. there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Maybe we get it here. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. It's see, been a while. On there, see how they got it, it turned? Yeah. 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 He, 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 it was the white button. It just wasn't releasing. Well, mm-hmm. you, you can't. You don't hold your finger. You just do that. Well, yeah, that's. But then how do you? No, you hold. You let up. You push down. It's like a Zepco 33. Exactly. It's like the Zepco 33. You release. He needs his fishing belt. There what if you hit that? What if you hit that TV? Oh, that <laughs> out. Bring him in, bub. Work him. Work Speedy. Act like you're the fish. <laughs> you know how you, you can do stuff. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get over there and act like a fish. Let him throw right, it again. Let me get him. I got it. Let, let him throw it again. I don't know that we should throw it again. Speedy, Speedy get over by the strokes. Throw it again. 
<laughs> Hi, it's out there. <laughs> 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 oh, Bubba, wait. Right. Shut the hook. <laughs> he let it go. He got away. He got away. <laughs> he got away. <laughs> that was better than I even hoped for. Bubba, Keith, thank you I'm so much. I'm going to out to the yeah, centipede. Yeah. Bubba, I like we'll, it. We'll have some casting competition I, I, around here. Yeah, I tell you. So now that you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, it took a minute. It's been a while since I did a pocket fair. <laughs> <That's laughs> That's good. Uh, Rick, do not pick look, that up and do not cast it. It even comes with its own lure. I like it. You know what? I, there was a side of me. that I want to pick that up and cast that so bad. But that weight on the end, I can just picture me hitting one of the TVs with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're, for, you're forbidden from touching it. I will have to go in the parking lot and play with it <laughs> yeah. full board. If you yeah. could get that and a Mr. Microphone, man, you'd have to. Oh, some. buddy. <laughs> What if you got testing, that, testing. Greg? What if you had that and you threw that, and the Mister Microphone was there for one reason? <laughs> a good fair. <laughs> oh, good fair. Good fair. Oh, good we'll be back to good fish later. <laughs> so, yeah. but do you not agree? There were times yesterday where I said, "Look, you just have a rod in your hand. The way you're, you're not fishing. You're one click from not fishing. That's Greg, not officially you, you fishing. You need to get off him. It was laying on his uh, back. Well, I just it made me. I be He's thankful. retired, I was, Greg. He it, just wanted to hang out with his buddies. We're the same age, and it made me thankful for my health. <laughs> oh, there you go. See, mm-hmm. how, how's his knees doing? Uh, he, that would seem to be back. fine. How's his knee? yeah, when you stand for a long period of time and you haven't for a while, that lower back will hurt. Yeah. Is that what it was? I'm oh, trying to yeah, help mine you. Mine got to hurt. Yeah. But I wasn't going to lay down. Hey, Stace, mm-hmm. I'm trying to help. I don't know why he wouldn't take a chair. Hey, coach. Yeah, yeah, but why don't you, why, why, I mean, so why don't you just take a chair? Ooh, I'm like, hey, he wouldn't take a chair. chair. Well, he you, would not you don't take have a to chair. keep up with that. You just <laughs> lay down. You got a nice bank. The grass is cut there, except for a few copper. <laughs> so next, next time you take him out there, you need to have a chair already set up. Listen, oh, yeah. With his did, name on it. He did get in some fire ants one time. He did? 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 Bad for the ants. Did you tell the story about your dad standing? Oh in yeah, we well, a legend. That's a legend yeah. right there. You can't worry about that. <laughs> Evan Haystack's also the one who said you could, you could hear him go, "Hey boys, y'all come on out. They got us." No, yes, what he? That's yeah, it's coming out. You got it. <laughs> but I saw he had it. He had a chair in his Greg's truck. Waving that one. Hey, he had a chair <laughs> in his in his truck. And I said, you going to take a chair? He said, you going to take one? I said, no, I don't need a chair. He said, no, I ain't take one. <laughs> you should have carried him a Rick and Bubba folding chair. I should have. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I got it, what, by the way. Well, what would, even be, what would you even declare to be authentic Caucasian Euro- so, European so the pizza, food? I don't even know. Is, is the pizza Italian or is it American? It, well, it is. It There's start, a debate about it. It started right? as an Italian dish that we Americanized. Right. But it does start, yes, in, in, in Italian. So if you want a pizza Chicago style, do you have to be from Chicago to serve it? I mean, where, where, did, where, does serve it? It? where does it Which, end? by the way, is a soup. I don't know if y'all have ever had that or not. You know, it's yeah. a soup. I know people, pizza soup. I know people in, in other countries that do quite well bringing American cuisine made the way we make it in America to the people of their country. Should we tell them they're not allowed to do that? Y'all came over here to America, and y'all get put together the hot dogs and the hamburgers and the French fries, and you know, even though it says French, I mean, y'all y'all are preparing us the way we do in America because you want people in your country to experience a different culture kind of food. I mean, do we have to bust up in every Vietnamese restaurant?